listening to Scotty with the Federals, spinning for your song, a song where we used to hear him uh, rehearse it down at Kinson Technical High School when we used to go to school. The late, great Scotty. Yeah, man. Before that, you hear John Old, Time is the Master. Big, big tune in England in them days there. This is the cutting edge, and I refer to you with you next Wednesday. We'll get here from 10 to 2. Yes, may I tell you? Boy, hey, you see, so we're on the brinks of third world war. I want anybody to realize so we're on the brinks of a third world war. Starting in that place named Syria, with America and Russia flying, clean, and miss one another, and all one mile missing. I mean, really, them a bomb, eh, you know, say, the, the Americans, them, was arming some rebels to fight against the Assyrian, the Syrian president. And then I still come in and I fight against the Syrian president and the, the rebel, them. America never want to send no people upon the ground for go fight. So them did a fight. Them will arm the rebel them for fight against ICE, for fight against Syria. And then ICE will come now and I fight both ICE, Syria, and the army where America arm. So America now have a bomb, a bomb, um, ICE will. Them can't do nothing about, um, the, 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 the president of, of Syria. So all them have to do is really arm the, the rebels them we have fight against Syria. Here comes Russia now and start bomb the people them who America have. <laughs> like, uh, the Russia them have bomb the people them who the American them have arm. And ISIL. Because them now a friend with the president of, of, of Syria. And the, and the American them cannot do nothing. Against Russia. So now, all of the men them who used to fight against the president of Syria are defect, a runway. Because the Russian them now have sent out some missile where they never use it. They have test out all them new missile against the, 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 and the American them have ball out and I say, how oh, they about to not fight against ISIL? And they have bomb up most of the people them who have fight against the Syrian army, the Syrian government. So, it's a problem because all of them are flying plane over the same airspace there. All of them are fly, the two of them are fly, fly plane in the same airspace. Almost a lick up one another and the Russian, them are torment them. Yeah, to me, that happened the Russian, them, like them are torment them because they might say, watch out. You never did do nothing to get rid of ISIL. You, you're afraid to put people upon the ground for go fight. Because you make that blunder in Iraq. And now we come here now. Come and fight. You come to about we now fight against ISIL. We are fight against, we now fight against ISIL. We are fight against the, the, the army where, where America arm. Well, you know, say, even the American people, they must say, I ask the question, which one is more dangerous? Assad or ISIL? You have to figure it out. But you want know, America don't want to play the game that the friend of my friend, the enemy of my friend, sorry, <laughs> the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Them don't want to play that game there, that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So the enemy of ISIL is Russia. But Russia now going to be, America now going to turn Russia into them friend. Because them now fight against the president of Syria. And that is what they would have want the Russia and them do. But them can't trouble Russia. Don't be no for frighten. Don't be no who for frighten. So here comes a war of Guanya now where it seems that it's going to escalate. And trust me, you know, any little mistake, you know, if one, just, you just want one little plane get shot down accidentally, you know, from any one of the group, you know. 
I am no say as some serious thing I go going over there, so some serious girl. Uh, uh, why it it it, it rough? Why? I, mean, I tell you, when you look at all them people, and I say, oh, them man, they just I just war, you know, I just war, 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 and them have a, it, it's like Russia. Now I try build back them economy with 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 weapons. But them not here because Iran they they them aside with all Iran to all of the one them well it's Russia I play the game you know the enemy of my enemy is my friend <laughs> the enemy and Russia is not necessarily Iran friend you know or the president of Syria them just have play the game because America don't like them. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's, it's like the guy over there next door, North Korea, they know, North Korea. They know. Him tell them, say, have weapons of mass destruction. And him tell them, say, have nuclear weapons we can't reach Los Angeles. Him tell them that up front. And then can't do nothing about it. Nothing about it. Because them man, the army, you know, trust me, man. That all them man, they practice, you know, how to kill people. Them can't do nothing about North, North Korea. And North Korea threatened to do certain things, do certain things. If it was another like a country around the corner, then me I tell you. That's why I said, don't be no for frightened. Don't be no who for frightened. So, we're going to watch that, you know, because if any little thing start over there, so, you know, it could have the far, it will affect we, right or so, in a Jamaica. Yeah. If America, can I remember telling them to have World War where we never involved in it, and it affect we, you know. Yeah, when America, the tribes of, the tribes of Europe, they fight against the tribes of Europe. And I kill millions. White people, I kill half white people like fly. First World War, Second World War. We never involved in it, still, you know. And them get really involved in it because we saw licky licky. Some Jamaican people fly to England and then go join Royal Air Force. So them go kill half German. Last week, remember, we talked about Mohammed Ali, Cassius Clear, who oh, during the, the, the Vietnam War, they force force people to go fight against the, the Vietnamese. And Cassius Clear, Mohammed Ali said, Watch out, I know that, you know. The Vietnamese don't do mean nothing, you know. And you know, same guy in a prison. Guy in a prison for that. When he's in a prison, him, yeah, when he's in a prison, him, him really transform him life. One of the greatest boxers, if not the greatest boxer ever live, Mohammed Ali. Say, I'm not going to Vietnam, go kill no Vietnamese people. And you see what happened? Them lose the war. Big, big America lose against some little rice planters. Can you imagine that? People who does a plant rice. No, no, not about no war. America go over there with them big, big weapon, this and that. And boom, them lose. It's about 50,000 Americans dead. And then now them go bomb Japan, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, them bomb it. The only country on earth that has ever used an atomic bomb against a next nation. The United States of America. Up to this day, the, the, the residue of that bombing has affected the Japanese people. Up to this day. Up to this day. And then you have China around the corner there. Meanwhile, them are look and look at you. China, China torment America again with cyber, cyber war. Cyber war. I don't know. Tony, Tony know about them things there, you know. Tony, Tony, Tony. And Tony, 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 me a car like that. It come like, the, the, you know, you did have a, you did have a group named Tony. I what did they wrong with that group there? You know that group, the Tony? Yeah. I went wrong with that. What did them to that group there? One of the Tony them left, the other Tony, I would go. Anyway, we have a Tony in the studio here, and she did up on top of the, 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 the chalk with me. She is the, 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 what do you call you? What do you call you? Eh? Social media. Social media producer. She's the one responsible for all the picture them, what you see. I come out on the, the social media. All she do just take picture. What a beautiful, what a beautiful work. She just walk around and take picture. <laughs> I get peer feet. Sure. Oh. Hey, me I tell you, she just, she just a walk. I'll, if you see her do something, you know, she just take your picture and put it on social media. 
Eh, me I tell you. Cyber crime is one of them big crime where I go on and on. And the Chinese, them look like they have it pat. Them just go in a certain secret documents in America and along after the America them find out. So that's another war again, you know. This is not war of bombs and guns now, but war of getting information where you're not supposed to get and use it against the country. Like if a man go invent all a brand new way of drive car, you know, and him have a little secret papers them in you know, the computer and go like, boom boom I go to the computer and say what? They might try to invent something. And this one them just take that tray and just go invent it and make them say them invent it first. Cyber war. Make you do things where you never do. And make you there a place where you never there. You're a man say boy right now you did there. You know so me see you in England last week and you did not sleep with your wife. And look here what? The man said, me to see how your, your wife start doubt it now. <laughs> Even though you didn't sleep with her, your wife start doubt it. That's a weird day. I wonder if I threw the about that. Maybe I know last week you didn't sleep with me. You know? Maybe I had a week before. You didn't really die in England for you. Cyber war. You can't tell them to you never there. When the man they don't make all image of you and all them things there. And, 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 and put your, 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 your picture in a computer so you pass through your port. You never pass through no your port. And then there's a, the, the, the problem of the chip them now. You know, I know, see them put chip in, them put chip in a baby now, you know. Yeah, baby with just born. They put chip in a them. That's when them grow up, they manipulate the youth them. And I know, like a science fiction, me are telling you about, you know, a real thing I go on, you know. Them put chip in a, the chip them can go in a, they, they needle them, you know. And so the man them, Weird, no, you know, they might put information in a chip where them can take injection needle and put it in a yo. And you grow up with that chip there, and over a period of time, they manipulate you, manipulate you. That means all when you reach all Brian age, you know, because it look like him get manipulated already. <laughs> when you reach all Brian age, you know, it's Brian, you go on so where you want to, how do you go on so? Uncle Fukum find out, say, them to put a chip in him. It might sound like science fiction, you know, but then, them they don't show you them thing in a movie already now, with a look at it as fiction. And they will see a whole heap of things with them that put in the movie, them. We come see, say, it's a real thing, them that really. It's like them are sure you to make your face say that no exists, but it really exists. It's like when them call now, them have, when them call, when them, when them, when them multiply, you Gen gen them genetically modify you. Yes, them genetically modified people. Because them genetically modified animals already, you know. And them genetically modified all the chicken where you eat. That know them have chicken, know them have produced chicken without feather. Can you imagine that? You have produced chicken without feather, you know. And the chicken have come all in a, in a one week. Chicken get big and broad and fat and lovely you eat that, you know. They are genetically modified most things you know, where we are eat. Most of the food that we are getting from America is genetically modified food. They modified for either get a bigger yield. They modified that it not get rotten, it not steal. So you have all one tomato, all one year you put in your fridge, you see it come back, you see it look the same way. Genetically modification. Them genetically modified are not producer too. <laughs> oh, you know, money. I hear say them, hush, hush. That's where it go. Hush. Hear? Hush. I'm going to take them up. I'm going to, I'm going to talk to them. Yeah, I'm going to talk to them. They must get good care. They must big radio station. They must be a big radio station. <laughs> they must get good care. Click it. Yes, cutting edge. We're there with you. Yeah, man. We are talking about... But, but, you know, so we want to thank the producers... At IRFM, who was involved in that coordination and organization of that march slash motorcade that took place on Sunday for Paul Bogle. We're talking about Samantha, Monique, Shamar, and 
Tony. Tony, Tony. Yes. Tony, 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 Tony. Tony, yes. Don't call her here, Raga. Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony. Tony is a... Tony, Tony, Tony is a, is a, is a, is a name of a, of a group in, from long time, in the 80s there. I don't know where I'm to them now. But I want to thank all of those ones to make me there really feel good. I feel energized. Yes, I feel energized. And I feel that IRFM did a wonderful work for really manifest that work in the way that it was manifested. Yes. We can't tell, we can't thank Kabo, Likimore, and Nick, and all of them, but these, it's four sisters. The four sisters, them, the four sisters, them, really, I emphasize that right now. Monique, Shamar, um, see, the name head gone. Samantha. Samantha and Tony. Those four ladies did a wonderful work. And I will be talking to management for some bonus for these ladies. They deserve some bonus. They definitely deserve some bonus. On the line here, we want to talk to Clinton Houghton. Blessed man. Yeah, Clinton. What? How are you going, sir? Hello, hello. Yes, L F I F I no hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what got a hello? I say hello. <laughs> I just say it's a load of the year that we look here. We think we got hell for you. <laughs> no, yeah, you give a wonderful, though long, but a wonderful um presentation the other day. All the children them was really interested in what you were saying. Quite so. I, I mean, it was wonderful, man. I, I, I learned a lot there. Given yeah. that you have done so much work on that line there, you know, we really give Yeah, man, for years, for years. Yeah, I remember, I remember. I, I was, when I, even from the time when I was up there doing this folk philosophy. Right. Are you learning yeah. the camp and sabbatical in St. Thomas? Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. so, I see you around the table and I'm like, that's snap away, snap away, snap away. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, you know, especially I focus on the children mm. because because I, these pictures will survive. And fifty years from now, yes, when those children get our mothers and fathers and, and grandfathers, yes, yes, and grandmothers, they will see themselves. Yeah, man, definitely. And you know, you know, um, I don't know about I, I need I need the kind of want to see more of that at the night. Yes. I did want to see more, you know, I did want to see more. I did want to see the combination of the burro drum them with the whole process, the, the, the whole table setting and more yes. supposed to go around the table. I don't know why them stop it. I want the bread, me see them girls and thing and that's it. Uh -huh. you know, I mean, I mean, really expect more still, but that's how it go. Yeah. That's yeah. How it go. All right, Clinton, Val Bogle, is where we are working with her now. Mm -hmm. We have a book named Color for Color, Skin for Skin, marching with your ancestral spirits into war or at Morant Bay. Yes. That is where the book name? Yes. And where you come up with them long name, the man? Color for uh, Color, well, Skin first for of Skin. All, color for Color. Skin for Skin. Skin for Skin. Yes. Was a slogan. Yes. It, it was the main slogan of that war. Of the people, that yes. movement in St. Thomas in the East. Yeah, yeah. That was their main slogan. And incidentally, the very earliest Rastafari movement adopted that slogan. Yeah, skin for skin, color for color. Yes, yeah, yes, man. yes. Black right. for black, yes. Yeah, yeah. right. So, so, so I use that slogan, and then marching with the ancestral spirits into war. Yeah. I use that because the, the, the ceremonies that they had after after a deputation selected by the people of St. Thomas in the East as a result of a number of meetings, uh, after they sent this deputation to Spanish Town to meet with the governor, they walked from, from St. Thomas to Kingston, then they took a train from Kingston to, to Spanish Town. At that time, Spanish Town was the capital, and the, the seat of the government was in Spanish Town, of the governor. And they went there by a train from Kingston. And the governor refused to see them. And then 
they went back home and started to drill. All right, remember here, remember here, get, get you where you say now. Them took a train from Morant Bay to Kingston. No, no, they, they were from, they were from St. Thomas, from Morant Bay oh, to Kingston. Oh, you're frightened because I look for, all of my life, me used to walk, them walk. Yes, they were from Morant Bay to Kingston. Yes, but yes. in Kingston, yes. they took a train to Spanish Town. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And then no, the governor never see them and they have to come. No, he refused to see them. Yeah, empty handed. And then they go back home yeah. and started to do something that's similar to the Mama uprising in Kenya. Yeah, all right. Explain to the people then what is that? They, they started what, I, what is called an uh, oath taking ceremony in which a number of young men were sworn. In a specific way, I can, I'm going to describe one of, one of the ways in which you oath, a oath, oath conducted by Paul Bogle, um, went. But they essentially swear to, to, um, to keep what they were doing secret. Because what happened is that the, the, the struggle, they were very clear now that the struggle could no longer be peaceful. So they started to swear in people, and people have to swear not even to tell them parents or their brother or sister, woman, anybody, that they were doing this thing. And the, sw the swearing, the oaths happened all over St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Some were conducted by a man by the name of Arthur Wellington, right. a well-known Obey man in, in the parish. So there was, so there was actually creating a secret order. Yeah, man. Yes, that's secret. Just like the Mau Mau. Yes, yes, yes. Just like the Mau Mau. Yes. Right? And a, a policeman went up to Stony Gut, five of them as a matter of fact, to, to, and a warrant to arrest Paul Bogle and 27 other people. And, and of course, when they went to Stony Gut, they were detained by Paul Bogle and his people, including some, some of his people, including some, some people from the Congo. Who arrived in St. Thomas, the Congo people started coming to Jamaica as indentured laborers from 1841. Slavery was abolished in 1838. They started to come here from 1841 to 1865. They abolished that, that immigration scheme. And they, the police, they only released the five police men when they swear to cleave from the white and to cleave to the black. While they were there, one of them noticed this oath-taking ceremony in Paul Bogle's chapel, presided over by Bogle. He said, and this is carried in, this is carried in, in the papers, he said that Paul Bogle spoke to the men, seven men, each with a cutlass. Seven, each with a cutlass. That they kiss a Bible, what they call called the big book. And then, Bogus spoke to them in a language that he did not understand. And then gave them what he called a drum of rum and gunpowder. No. When we check it out, there were a number of old Africans, and they are now referring to those who came as, as indentured laborers, primarily from the Congo, that, that a number of them actually lived in Stony Gut and died there and are buried there. I am suggesting that. The language that Bogle was speaking, and he learned from these old Congo elders, was Kikongo, which is still spoken in St. Thomas by the Kumina people, them, the people who came from that tradition. Right? So, so even now, in the rituals that they conduct, them call it country language, they still speak some Kikongo. And that was what who conducted the oath taking ceremony in in Kikongo. And the, the Roman gunpowder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could not speak that language there. Eh? He could speak yes. that language. He, he learned it from the Africans. 
Okay, okay. You know, it's from the Congo, but people. Eh? I remember mean, asking a question now, because I hear people always sidestep it. I don't know in your story. Yes. We don't sidestep bookman, um, what bookman did as a Obia man in a 80. Yes. But I don't hear them mention where the part, the player, Obia player, in a certain aspects of the war against the British in a Jamaica. For instance, you just mentioned the Obia man a while ago in a centre. Yes. Yeah. And we know that most of the leaders them for them struggling. The reason why they become leaders is because them party, even though them claim to be deacons and Baptists, you know, because I know we are Muslim, but still, I know presidents in Africa, where even though them to them are Christian, them still maintain them traditional African right. language, that language, traditions, in a Ghana, yes. Gambia. Yeah. Yeah. In a your study, what part will be a play in a liberation struggle in a them time then? A great, a great role. In fact, I would, I would say, Mota, that that's one of the reasons why we are talking today on radio is because of Obia. I, I remember you have a poem, and in the poem you say, even if, I don't remember the exact yeah, way, yeah, even yeah, if by, I Obia. Yeah, if it, by the ballot or the bullet, by the Bible and the gun. Right, like, that point. Even if you have to use like Obia, we have to That point. Like, or voodoo, yes. When you, when you say that, you know, it's, I already knew that a holy product, the, f the first major uprising in Jamaica, led by Taki. Taki was a healer. Taki was an Obia man. He is the first major leader of an uprising, a national uprising. Now, an uprising that incorporated, put it another way, an uprising that was a pan-Africanist uprising yeah. in the sense that it involved different tribal and ethnic groups of Africans, yes. not just one set. Set, yes. And it, and it, as, it, was, it, as was the case before. And it expanded the whole of Jamaica, even to Westmoreland, even though St. Mary did it. Exactly. Yes, yes. Exactly. So, so we see, therefore, the first and all subsequent uprising, including Sam Sharp, 1831-1832, Obia played a very important role. In the oath-taking ceremonies, it played that major role because the Obia men were spiritualists and women. Mm. In fact, Nanny was one. Well, she, uh, she was one. Yes. And uh, she was the biggest one out of the world. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she was one. Man. Na Nanny was one, right? That is why they banned it, you know. Eh? That is why they banned it. Look here, look here. The first anti, anti, uh, anti Obia law mm. in Jamaica was passed. Exactly after the, the uprising led by Taki. Yes. 1760. Yes, yeah. Mm. Right? Yes. And then after that, they passed a series of others, each time becoming more draconian. Yeah, because you know you know what happened? Then when I wake up, some white people that wake up one morning and find some dead chicken hung up at, at them, 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 um, them doorstep. And so, but all of that happened, you know, and guess what? They were freed out of their but, skin. But, but you never, me, me don't say what I'm going to say, because <laughs> when them see that, them decide to go back to England. <laughs> them decide, <laughs> oh, that, that, that's a record in history about Bookman, too, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, because it, 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 it's a fear factor. The Obia sometimes play upon the psyche of people, you know. Absolutely. But people don't understand how, how deep the psyche of people can be used are, are used against them by well, well, using certain things against against them you know is that absolute, yeah. absolutely and and i remember leading up to moran 1865 a number of people start to like in saint elizabeth start to hire god for god them house at night time uh, we're talking about some of the white people them now because another thing that they banned, but they never, they were never successful in, 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 in stopping people from using it, was the drum. Yeah, the drum was... In the United States, they successfully banned the drum and the people start to use different ways to keep the drum alive. Yes, yes. Like them chess, the dancing and all of that. It used the same message. Yes, yeah. huh? 
It, it, so, the, the music use the drum to send message, like a telephone. Telephone. Yeah. Yes, yes. And, 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 and it, they, they could hear the message from miles away. Yes. Absolutely miles away, right? I, go, I, go, I don't know if you know this, Nate. I don't know if you know this. But when we had the movie named Sankofa, mm -hmm. we read about this. Them used to ban the Conroe here too, you know. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, one of the reasons I was told why them ban it is because, you know, in a, you know, in a for instance, Nigeria, do we or the woman wear a head tie, symbolize yes. her status? Right. Yeah. That, it, it's a way to tie your head. You know, so, well, you are married, you belong to... Right. So, uh, yes. Well, in a, that slave plantation, the way the woman can right here, without speaking, she could have walked through the field, and the man them who was plan uprising can look on her ear or can row and know, so, well... I'll read the message. Slave master gone with a weekend, yeah, or... It's a yeah. very scientific approach to things, you know, because I remember say most of the women them did that work in the house. Yeah. As, as what them call house slave. And mm. we must feel so the house slave them never play a great part in all the, the In fact, in fact, some of them were the most revolutionary. Yes. So what happened now is that them them it was privy to the information them, even though they, from inside. Yeah, because they might take them you know, so they used to take we as idiots. So we now <laughs> yeah. and we are going like so we are idiots too. Absolutely, playful to catch wise yeah. call it. So them plant them here, can run them here a certain way and go out in the field. It's, it's, it's just like how them catch up on the drum thing. Is it yeah. when them catch up on the can road thing? <laughs> so that is why there is a kind of stigma about black woman doing them here in a can road. Yes. And drumming. And obia. All of these things sip it into how black people use to use them thing there. Get the slave master to liberate themselves. Anyway, yeah. continue bridging. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Really? yeah, so 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 um in, in leading up to, to, to eighteen sixty five, you have the old taking ceremonies. And there were actually, I have, in fact, my research to about five. They executed about, about five over men, you know. For about five over, over men were executed during the suppression in, in, in St. Thomas. For striking fear, were, for striking fear, and especially the woman, the white woman, they were afraid of over, like. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and then, well, guess what happened? There was one named Arthur Wellington who was regarded as the most potent of them all. And actually, he, t he told the people, and this is how Obia, for example, helped to, to solidify the fortitude of the people to confront the British. He told them that they can't harm them, no bullet can't kill them, and because the people believe and the rituals surrounding that, the people confronted the British. You know what they did? Yep. A man, the man who, who did the military operation for the British on the ground out there in St. Thomas, their military leader on the ground, was a man named Colonel Francis Hobbs. They executed, ordered the execution of Arthur Wellington and cut off his head and put on a pole. And he said he did it because... Yeah, I'm going to show them the same I'm going to show the people them that no incantation from the Obia man can save them. But uh, like the maroon them, they do to tack it, man. Oh, yes. The maroon them, they cut off, tack it, yes. and put it on Yes, they, they did that, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, all right, so you say them do that now if you put fear in uh, the other African, them to say, watch out. So, all right, so you say them do that now if you put fear in uh, the other African, them to say, watch out. Fool over and I'll work, you know, because he's right. you know, big over, man. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. 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 So, so, so um, that was what happened to Arthur Wellington, and they, and they actually executed four other over men. But the old taking ceremony, those, those over men were, were, were instrumental. Some of the key persons doing that. As was the case in Haiti, you know. The, the Fudo priests in Haiti during the, the Asian Revolution mm. played a great, great role in, in, in the rituals that, that 
gave the people the necessary courage and fortitude to stand up and fight and to believe that even if they are killed, all that is going to happen, yes. that, that their, their death is just a passport back to the motherland. And the same, Sankofa. Absolutely. That was, the, that was the essence of the movie, Sankofa, you know. Yeah, man, I've seen it several yeah, times. But that, people need to watch this movie, a very good movie. Because... The the the, the 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 girl in my girlfriend in it. Yeah. They believe where 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 where, where Shango tell her you know say when it, no, no, let's fight because she could have hear Shango voice a going at the wind them and yes. on and on and on and on and till it carry him go right back to Africa. That's why when she reach when she wake up out of that slavery thing and go back in her cell, she actually yeah. see the same people them. In a the in a the Cape Coast, like what right. I got in a the the, the 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 dream which you did not have in, in a slave, the same people them the dead and I, and that Shango tell her say death death is no fear that man because no no tell her that to no no tell her say watch a man you cannot kill the body but you can't kill her soul precisely so no matter in what you, you know, do yeah in 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 fact motor um I have uh, um seen some documents. And I've used them in which there, there are so a number of, of white planters in Jamaica and some, and some, some priests as well. They argue that Africans never have any fear of death well, because they believe, and this was in the 18th century, 17th and 18th century now, yeah. that these things are written, that they believe that death is a passport back to Africa. Africa, yes, yes. And that, and that the, the, the funeral rituals that, that used to happen, mm. they were joyous occasion. Yes, of course. You want, <laughs> you want to go to Ghana go see funeral? I tell you. <laughs> yeah, when, when you yeah boy, that's elaborate. When you go to Ghana as a funeral, it come like when, um, Come like when PNP and JLP have, have, have with them there in an arena, man. May I tell you? Yes. Everybody that they read and them black. Yeah, yeah. But, well, that's the real thing because what happened to, what happened to, I will put people to understand, because mm. even today, I think it's Nelson Mandela that come back and say, if something is not worth dying for, it is not worth living for. Absolutely. So can you imagine you fight a man with don't no fear death? Yeah. That is why the Arab, that's why the man, them, you know, the Muslim man, with Thailand, bump on them, so fr frightful. The, the, yeah. the, the, the Israeli, them, so frightful of them, you know, because them man, yeah. any time, 40, 72 virgin in heaven, Thailand, the bump on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's not, it's not that. Anyway, I don't want to sidestep you, but go on, go on, go on work with the, the book. Yeah, so, 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 um, so, so as a result of, of my reading of these oath taking sermons that happen all over St. Thomas in the East, which, which, and then not only that, I, I actually then look at how that happened before Moran Bay. So I look back at the, at the, um, the 1831, 1832 uprising led in Western Jamaica by, by, um, Sam Sharp. Then I, then I look back at, the, the Taki uprising, then I go beyond that and look at the Asian Revolution and believe me, the same pattern. And the oaths were taken in the ancestors' name because the belief is if you take an oath in the ancestors' name because the ancestors are not a separate part of the community. They are, they are an integral part of the community. They are called upon every day. And that is why they have rituals to feed the ancestors and light beach and all of those things. So, so the oath was to get people to agree to certain things for political struggle in the name of the ancestors. While at the same time, calling on the ancestors to join, join them. In, in this struggle. And that is why it is called marching with the ancestral spirits into war ho at Morant Bay. And it's a long title for that book, Color for Color, Skin for Skin, Marching with the Ancestral Spirits into War ho at Morant Bay. 
<coughs> and in fact, when they reach at Stanton, Stanton Road and Church Road, just r little side of Mount Bay, there was a huge cotton tree, and in fact, I was subsequently told by some people there that there are many cotton trees around there. And the place is still called Cotton Tree, that area. That they, that they stopped on the big cotton tree before they went into the bay and have their last meeting. Now, during slavery, cotton trees were like church buildings. There were places where, and where enslaved Africans yeah, would worship and carry out rituals yeah, under because yeah. the belief is that the ancestral spirits like to gather and communicate on the cotton trees. Mm. And, that, and what, in fact, one of the reasons why, why the, 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 uh, the Americans, when they went to Haiti, try their best to cut down all the cotton trees when, when they occupied 18, 19, 14 to 1932. Oh, that was the reason for cutting down the tree them, the cotton yeah, tree. Yes. Can I remember cotton tree all along a camp there, like, cotton, cotton tree gate there. Like. Yes. The region of the battle. That's not big one, eh? Yeah, them have a big cotton tree also out of ferry there too. Oh, right. Huge one, right. Guess what? The, the one in St. Thomas that Paul Vogel and the people stopped under, mm. um, it was photographed in 1866. In fact, I have a photo of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. It was photographed, so, so we know what it looked like. Yeah, yeah. Right? So uh, when they left that cotton tree, you know, they went into the bay, free the prisoners, and then... Confront the people in front of the courthouse. Yeah, yeah. And there was a lady named Leticia Gohegan. I see more I hear about you know, but yes, you know, she, that woman. Right? In fact, you know, the, the literature, the colonial literature, referred to her as Mrs. Leticia Gohegan. Okay. No other person was referred to by a title. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means that she was, a, she was a kind of society girl. She, she apparently like, was a lady like of status. Like Paul Bogle, owner Like Paul Bogle. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, the people in St. Thomas, they, they, they referred to Paul Bogle as King. King pa Paul Bogle. And he was highly revered. Yes. He never, he never not tie up pants and... Look, and I, I guess you know, yeah. the, the people who lead, who led this struggle... They were the emerging black middle class. Yeah, they never look like the, 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 the gay guy will stand up out there. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. They have shoes. Yes. They have good clothes. Yes. Some of them have 200, 300 acres of land, some 50 acres, some 40 like acres. Like Paul Bogle. Like Paul Bogle. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Right? Some of them have horses, like Bogle. Yes. Right? And most of those type had the right to vote. And them leaders struggle to liberate the people them who would have been them workers. Right. In alliance with the, in alliance, the, the emerging black middle class, in alliance with the sea laborers. Yes. Especially those in the sugar cane working. Yeah. It's that alliance that came together in St. Thomas. That was the most militant of the alliances, which was also developing in a place called Veer, which is now part of Carindan. Mm -hmm. Because they are the same type of sugar cane relationship. Right? And, and, and Westmoreland, in, 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 in 1858, mm -hmm. you have in Westmoreland what is called the toll gate riots. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. people are walk for a road and they go a bush in a rasta. And you have to pay toll, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? You go your grung. And when you come back, go, you have to pay a toll. Yeah. When you come back, you pay a toll. Yeah. So you have a massive riot down there. And the people them tear down the toll booth. Mm. And then more people join them. Hundreds of people. Yeah, block the road, them and all them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Cut down trees and block the road. Right, me, me they cut down tree business. Yeah, that long time. It has been going on, yeah. they don't like it, but it has been going on for a yeah. very long time. But that is one of the ways the people them use to satisfy them. It, yeah. Them weird. Right? But I can't ask you a question, you see? Yeah. All right. Paul Bogle get hung. What yes. if people get shot when they didn't involve in it? Yes. Suppose somebody look by and say, well, see there, so someone rise up, what, what, what purpose that it serve? Because all of them dead and things stay the same. Yes. 
What what you that say about that? Well, I, I would you, agree. You wouldn't agree. No, I because why you wouldn't people, agree. Because Paul Bogle, Paul Bogle did a fight with something where never did come to fruit teacher and they did him get murdered, shot feet. Ah. Yeah, but look, yeah. every 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 political struggle was that successful in the first time, you know. Mm. But, but but clearly they learned from the struggle of eighteen fifty eight which is the form that the struggle took in St. Thomas. Mm. When we look at political struggle in terms of armed struggle, a violent type of struggle, we have a number of examples. The Maroons were very successful in using guerrilla warfare. Mm. Right? Um, and then you have like a Tollgate riot and the riots in, in Trelawney, mm. in Falmouth. Those were a smaller version of 1865. Mm. And 1865 was a smaller version of 1838. 1838 happened all across Jamaica. And as a result of that, some of the things that we were not gained as a result of 1865 yeah. came in 1830. Right. And tell me what changed because of. All right. The, the war in, 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 in a part of the time. Tell me what the All change. Right. All right. Okay. Cutting edge. John RFM. Yes. A long time ago, see me see you, you know. I want to see her, you know. <laughs> a long time ago, see her. I thought she was on the, would be on the march. Marching with those strong, healthy legs. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Clip. <laughs> Weird. It's not a bit over this one. Clinton Hutton is on the line here. Blessed man, yeah. we're there with you again. Yes, we are talking about yeah, this book, Color for Color, Skin for Skin, Marching with the Ancestral Spirits. Long, long title for your book. Yeah. All right, well, this book you published already? Yeah, it's, it's, um, we're going to have a launch. Yes, we're going to have the launch. And uh, next week, Wednesday, that is October 21. Oh, and next week, Wednesday, you have a launch? Yes, at the regional headquarters of the University of West Indies. Uh, that is. I'm lunch when I can't come, that's how I'm going to deal with that. Yeah, we know. Uh, Mona, <laughs> <laughs> at the opposite side of the road, uh, you know, the yeah. new building. Yeah, ma'am, you know, Opposite the main gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so listeners who want to come, they can come. It's free. Yes. You are, you are welcome there. What time it starts, uh, Virgin? It starts at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. And uh, it's, it's going to be open by, um, it's going to be, the book is going to be launched by Professor Rupert Lewis. Mm. And uh, we're going to have some master coming at drummers. Yeah. Um, and the exhibition, so it's a book launch mm -hmm. and an exhibition of some of my paintings and photos on the same theme. And the, the book is going to be launched by Herbie Miller. Okay, Herbie. Right, Martin. so the two things will take place. Mm, simultaneously. At the same time. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, anyone can just walk into the place. And, will, and will, will you be at the, the, the enactment of the trial, the reenactment of the trial? Yes, yes, that is, that is going 25th. to be when the 20th. October the 25th. <laughs> yeah, October the 25th. Yeah, yes, at the new courthouse in yeah, St. Thomas, Thomas, in Moran Bay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, what it is going to be, it's a, it's a trial mm. of, of, um, that was here. Governor here, yes. Governor, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. going to be tried in Jamaica. Yeah. By a Jamaican jurist. Yes. And jury. Yes. Very because he was tried in, 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 in Britain. Mm. And I'm letting go. Terrible thing. Yes. Terrible thing. Right? But I don't think we'll get a fair trial now, though. <laughs> Why do uh, you think so? No, because I've done guilty. Why the man guilty before the trial? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the liar, Bridget, because... Well, uh, do you remember Prince Buster, Judge Red? <laughs> yeah. And, and you were follow up to Judge Red? People scored. <laughs> but, and before you, Peter Tosh? But if you'd have done, if you'd have done, if you'd have done, try the man and, and court not try it. A yeah. mistrial, which I call for a mistrial. Oh God! Well, guess what? He's going to have his representative. Yeah, that doesn't say nothing. He's, he's going to court. have his own lawyer. He's going to try the thing outside of the court already. He can't get a free trial. 
Can't yeah, get a fake trial. Me the trial is public opinion. No, I'm sorry for him, sir. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not defending him, Bridget. I'm not defending him. I'm not defending him. I'm not defending him. Well, well, people, come and watch this trial and you can determine. I don't know yeah. if you come in there with your mind make up, made up already. But... Everybody mind make up already. The man can't get a fake trial. <laughs> you need to move the trial, please. Can't get a fake trial. Anyway, we want to give thanks, you know, because I know so we're going to interview Michael Olgate and all about this. Yeah, man, because Michael is the man who, who, yeah, who, who yeah, organized yeah. these group of yeah. actors and actresses. So why you why remind the people about this book, Color for Color, Skin for Skin? It, it, yes, uh, it's going to be launched next week, Wednesday, October 21, yes. at the regional headquarters of the University of the West Indies, mm -hmm. Mona, that's opposite the main gate, the, the new building on the other side of the road. Um, it's going to be launched at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. next week, Wednesday. All right. Any, any prize upon the book yet? No, I don't know what the prize is going to be All because right. Who the, 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 the publisher... The, Ian Randall's publisher. Oh, Ian Randall publish it. All right. Yeah, man. Yes. Big publisher. Big, big publisher. Yeah, yeah man. So that they're, they're, they're going to do that. Yeah. But we can talk some other time about Moran Bay because yeah. a number of things happened. Like, for example, a lot of people went mad after that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and, and then what hope more was the great migration from Jamaica to Panama, Panama yeah. Costa Rica, yeah. Yeah. and then later Cuba. Yeah. Uh, to, for people to find work for do. All right. Uh, well, so we, 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 we call you forward again. Now we're, we're going yeah, to one more day. All yeah. right. Give thanks, Bridget. Yeah, man. Bless yeah, it. Yeah, that was um, Clinton Houghton. You know him there at the University of the West Indies. He does publish a book. Color for color, skin for skin. Marching with the ancestral spirits into a moral beer. Serious, serious title that for a book. Oh, but people don't know that even at them time, the man ball out color for color, skin to skin. You know, I mean, so you have to cleave to your color, cleave to your skin. You know, it's what you know. You could have deal, you know, you're going to feel it too. You understand? So it work. Paul Bogle set a trend in a Jamaica to defend the rights of people who was disenfranchised by the system. Although it be a European British person visible and the soldiers were visible white. But they have maintained their system under the guise of black skin. But we know say as we always say roast bread fruit is a serious thing. Roast bread fruit black when fire take it. But when you peel it off and most of them people, you know, most of them people are well, so they're my governor. They are reincarnation of governor here. Reincarnation. Come back in a black skin. And now, I wonder, where is Paul Bogle? Where is Paul Bogle? This is the cutting edge. And I we're going to talk to a man who is directly well he's the director of the reenactment of the trial of governor here on October the 25th. You know, say IRFM down there again. Yes, IRFM are going there again, you know. You think say IRFM a joke. We are work with all the things for work with, you know, all the people them um, bring to light certain things historically and see how it can help to motivate the people them into action because it's confidence in ourselves we are work with confidence in yourself if you do have no confidence in yourself you're twice defeated it's with confidence we are work with you win even before you start so when we hear about like Paul Bogle Taki Sam Sharp Nanny them people they're from in at them time left long, long, long time. And all them people they decide, say, watch a man. I'd rather die on the gallows than live as a slave. I'd rather die on that gallows up upon top of the hill than live as a slave. That's some of our ancestors. If you could dive at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean and that place them call the Middle Passage. 
bones on top of bones on top of bones because our ancestors prefer to die. Jump off of the ship. That reach on your soul. When them see where I go on the ship. Can you imagine when them send all your your mother for go on the ship for go wash out the dead bodies them and the filth and the peepee and the blood. That when them put up one another together, you can't even move. And you did it for all days, days and days and days like sardine. And you feel right there, so your people right there, so your vomit right there, so I saw that thing. And them send your your mother to go wash out that. Then when she go up on top of that, you think that she not going to jump off? Or if you're pregnant, because you know, so them used to rape with, 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 with mother them and with girlfriend them and with daughter them on top of the ship. Rape them. Get them pregnant before them reach over here, so you know, because sometimes the ship has to take two, three months for reach. And when your mother realizes, eh, or your sister realizes she's pregnant for this boy, where, where you look at your family and I need that ship there, your mother say, uh uh, me nah go over there so and carry my pick me. You know that when me sit down there so. I prefer the Swiss, the sea swallow me up. Hundreds jump off of that boat. Hundreds jump off of the boat and never reach us all. Hundreds. So it's not a, it's not some passive people like what you see I just so now. Where guys can come and lick you over this and lick you over this and lick you over this and you just go on like and I say, hey, look at look at my do this and this and that and we, we, we. Hey, if you don't learn from history, man, you're going to repeat it. That's what history is there to do. History is there to make you understand why you is here today and how you must move forward. Cutting it. Yeah, Paul Bogus said black for black, skin for skin, color for color. I mean, I tell you. <laughs> I, mean, I tell you, man. Paul Bogus voice. Could I go in a la chunia? Believe you me, Paul Bogus voice. Could I go in a chunia? Only we did have tea for color them days there. But the bridge in a ball is out. Black. The band black. We have a steel black. Color for color, skin for skin. Paul Bogle cry out that, echo it all over St. Thomas, rally the people them to fight, yes. On the line here we have Michael Wolgate, director of the reenactment of the trial for Governor here on October the 25th. Good night, sir. Good night, good night, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, man, we we'll have to play out that tune there, two times. Yeah, man, we have to Yeah, we we'll have to play out Nice stuff. Time. Sorry for the, 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 the whole up. No, man, that good, man. I the first may hear it still, I'm not really like Oh, the first hear it? Yeah. Yeah. A long yeah, time yeah. about. All right, look at now. Mm. You, you, when, when you say director, why? It's a movie business. When you say director of the reenactment, what do you mean? What do you mean? You I am director? the person who i um, pulling it together with the actors to put it on, well, not even on stage, because we're doing it in the courthouse. So mm. I'm going to pull it together and make it conceptually make sense to an audience, the listening audience for radio, yeah. the viewing audience inside the courthouse, as yeah. well as for the people who are going to be eventually watching it on TV. So we're not going to have um, screens outside? Because you know, in yeah, the, we're going to uh, have screens outside. Because, because you know the crowd where they did it la, la, Sunday, you're going to again, you know? Yeah, yeah. So we're not going to have screens outside? Yeah, yeah. yeah man, we're going to have screens outside, and it's going to be, us, um, because inside, it's, it's, a, it's a real courthouse, so yeah. inside, um, it's probably around 60 to 90 people, so much can hold inside. And we know that people are going to want to be a part of this for yeah. try the man who should I get try a long time. Um, did I not, you know? Yeah. So, but, 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 we're have the screen outside. But like, what is the idea? All the screen, I'm going to show that people them can't see it. Well, I, um, I, I think they're putting it inside tents. Oh, they're going to put um, it in okay. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's a tent thing they're doing, you know, putting up some big tents outside. I'm not oh. sure exactly on the logistics of that, but I yeah. think that that yeah. is what they're doing. Oh, you don't have no direction about that? Yeah, no. All right. Where, where take for direct, so, tell me now, where take for put something like this together? What, what, what is the process that you're going wow. through? Um, it's a, it's a, well, it started out with first wanting to do something like this, and Bert, Bert Samuel, the lawyer, he wanted to do something that would help to bring closure um, for the people of St. Thomas, and so he, he actually stood up in um, in court, I don't remember where he, he was when he did it, and he basically just took on all the roles of 
every character that is in the script and him just talk. Because yeah. he's is, is a man who internalized this thing, you know, him really feel a certain way about this thing and him just talk, him just talk. And he had um, somebody who was there writing down, typing out everything that he said. And by the time he finished with it, he had a script that um, included the judge, the lawyer prosecuting, the defense lawyer, um, witnesses like um, the, the mother of Paul Bogle, um, the wife of George William Gordon, um, Rohagan, some other people. And so he had a full script at the end of that. From that process now, um, it comes to me, and when I look at it, I say, yes, it probably can work strong for, um, if you're looking at it conceptually, it, it works, but it also needs a little bit of dramaturgy. Um, as a director, mm -hmm. I will direct um, to make the, the concept come across strongly to the audience. But mm -hmm. I felt that I needed some other people to help me to, um, to get the concept solid. Yeah. So um, I asked some friends of mine, um, Amber Chevans, daughter of Professor Barry Chevans, mm -hmm. and um, Fabian Thomas, um, to come in and help me to make the story. Um, take it from the page to the stage, so to speak. You know, help me mm -hmm. to, to get this, this law, this law brief, if, you, if that's the term, into yeah, yeah, a, a yeah, script yeah. that we can use. All right. So who is governor here in all of this? So, um, you mean historically? Or no, you mean no, no, the, the, the one who was sitting there and saying, my governor here, because you know, so them could have shoot him before the, the, the court. <laughs> <laughs> You don't laugh about the man. I was trying to laugh that. You know what I'm saying? Watch it. It's a man. 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 You don't have to have no security around him, you know. You don't have to have no security. Because you have some guys around him as well. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have a You didn't have a match? You was at the match? No, 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 hey, no. If you ever see much, you know, I'll tell you something. At the beginning of the match, before we jump on the truck, you drive, come along, you know. Mm. I must say about half dozen to a dozen women, Mr. with match it, and then now mm -hmm. some man come on with another, about another dozen man come with match it, you know. Mm -hmm. So them are really not eating, you know, so it's match it. So, <laughs> you know, so them are, it's when you reach, when they reach the, um, the, the courthouse, the man, oh gosh, mm -hmm. man, you want to see the woman, they with that, they, they match it, them. Yeah. Mr. Al Queen I for coming out of the whole machine that they were chop you, you know what you say, chop. Well yeah, you know, say so historically, um it uh, um, if you if you read anything from Clinton Hutton, Clinton Hutton talks about the fact that, you know, a lot of a lot of the women were the agitators. I see a well. you know, woman for show the stone. Is that mm -hmm. woman for show the stone at the crowd and yeah. lick one of the guy them in there, you know, agitated. Yeah, man. All and right. the women were egging on the man and the man, the man said, look here, you know, uh, yeah. you have to do something. We're not take this no more. Yeah. All right. So, so you say, you know, I tell me who I got at governor here. His, uh, his name is Bob, 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 Bob Carr. <laughs> Bob Carr? Yeah, K-E-R-R. -R. He's oh, a long-standing Jamaican. think of Bob, uh, Bobby, um, Gishay, I got to talk about. No, my Bobby Gishay is gone a long time, man. <laughs> <laughs> me know, me know, me know, but he look like, he look like, he look like <laughs> governor here, you know. <laughs> Look like governor here. All right. Mm -hmm. So Bob Carr going to be governor here. Yeah. And now the prosecutor in all this time is who now? All right. So in this time, the prosecutor is actually a lawyer himself. Is Abel Dan Foot? That's the name of the lawyer. So he will be um, on, on, on this. He, he, he will represent who? He will represent the people. He will represent the people in, and, um, and, and will be prosecuting air for the crimes that he has, the atrocities and, mm. and the crimes that he has committed. Yeah. You know, and he's an actual lawyer. I actually wanted it to be Bert Summers, but, um. But, but which part Bert Summers play like? Him just. Say again? What part, apart from just instigating the thing, what part Bert Summers going to play? Him is part of the. Whoever. Never allowed him up still enough. Come they want him to play the prosecutor in a, or defense or something. I wanted him to play. So him not play not this or him not play not that. I'm really passionate. No, I'm not. I'm just write the script. I'm just yeah. I'm just write, write it. And I'm provide ah, okay, consultancy okay. and all that. Okay, as a lawyer, I'm not in a row. All right. I go. I go. I tell you something. There, there's a move. Well, you know, so me mention it in our crowd of ones up at Pegasus Society, and nobody in there never see that move in there with um Danny Glover. Mm -hmm. Danny Glover make a movie named Bamako. Mm -hmm. Bamako is a village in a Mali. Mm -hmm. And what these villagers did, 
and, and, and Danny Glover actually recorded it, was to put the World Bank and IMF on trial in the village. Mm -hmm. So okay. they had a, a whole coating set up in the village, you know, really, serious mm -hmm. coating, you know, and I try the IMF and the World Bank. Oh. I would I would really like ones to really go check out the movie there. It was yeah. produced by Danny Glover. Okay, uh, okay. We were talking I about, film a long time ago. No, it's long time, but you know, you're the problem with it now. I turn mm -hmm. up there and I talk to him about it. And not remembering, say, right, you know, say, most of the people in Nagoya don't even know what me I talk about. Mm -hmm. And here I am, me and him have a conversation. Him, they're upon the, 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 the podium and me long in the garden. And me mm -hmm. and him interact. With this thing, like say it's a popular movie, you know, it's like mm -hmm. like yeah, when I movie them I've like le like Lethal Weapon, you know. And yeah, they just yeah. try me and I say, but where are they? You know, say does that meeting kids you know say we there? One let the people them know where they are about him say. Have anybody ever seen Bamako? Not one. Somebody Nobody. told the man. I was feeling that way, you know, because here is me and this man at talk about this something, and nobody mm -hmm. do have a clue about where we are about. So. Mm -hmm. Before we start, before I say that again, we want to tell the people them say, go and look for that movie. It is a movie mm -hmm. that is set in a village named Bamako in a Mali, and these people try. Now, really, why, 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 why I bring up that is for sure. Say, what is what going to be done in October twenty fifth? It's not a play play thing. It's not a joke thing. This is a this is a reference point. Mm -hmm. That should be documented. We we have come to the maturity now to say, look, I know. Even though this thing took place years ago, but my ancestors is here right now in a, my personality. Exactly. I am my ancestor. And it exactly. is now my duty now to yeah. put this guy upon trial. Because I never exactly. have the opportunity to do it. Them time there. I have the exactly. opportunity to do it now. So we must take it serious. It should be... Yeah. It should be. It should have about five video camera in there. Video this thing, you know. Yeah, man, we're, we're going to have people filming it, and, the, and and I love what you're saying, you know, Musa, because the whole point is that we, as Jamaicans, we as Black people, we're taking responsibility yes. for some of those things that happened long ago. We couldn't do it before. We couldn't. We never had the right to do it before. The law was not supposed yes. to do it before. We but do now it now. we have some something that we can say, yeah. We, and we need to. A lot of the times, we we tend to want to just be moving forward. Yes. But if you're moving forward and you're tied to something that is holding your back, you, 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 you know, you're fooling. Ah, yourself. yeah. So, so yeah. just like what Dan Glover do with that trial in Obama mm -hmm. is that I would like to say that when this thing come out. Yeah. I mean, if it, if it is shot properly, I mean, the, the, the man, they're going to have an all them wig and all them today, don't it? Yeah, man, them way, it's going to be... see him uh, red going and... Red just, costume, just, just yeah. Like with, yeah, all right. Just, and wig and them, yeah, yeah, that must be properly shot with cameras mm -hmm. that it can be placed as a documentation right, that right. we, we, the Africans, who was shot... In mm -hmm. 1865, mm -hmm. we come back now and recognize our responsibility mm -hmm. for look on this British government mm -hmm. and them farmer guys them for sure say your things that we forget. We don't yeah, forget. Exactly. We exactly. might have forgiven, but we will never forget. Yeah. And this is part of the and, process. Yeah, man, and so much of us, so many of us um, are, are tied this thing we have people we have i mean you don't even have to have been to do, to be living in st thomas now because i um professor shepherd yes. sent me something with the names and she showed me that there are there were three whole gates who were hanged as well yeah, uh, your family your family you know yeah so you know we, we, we're all connected it's it's, it's, it's us it's our then people. are we it's, are we same you know? one man are we you know mm, are we, man? we just need to just take responsibility and do what we have to do and sometimes what i love about this thing you know is that we we tend to think that it's only the laws that we make now that will make a difference but the truth is that sometimes we have to do things outside of um the the, the the law and yeah, the system, illegal the system, yeah, I mean the system. Not the illegal things I mean yeah. theatre theatre yeah. yeah. dramatization is something that will affect the psyche of the people. Create our you own logic man. That's, that's what I call theater. it. I call it creating our own logic and not making yeah, exactly. another man's logic define we. Because exactly. over the years we have allowed the European logic to define we because we talk mm -hmm. like them language. 
And exactly. it's very difficult to come out of their logic with freedom yeah. language, you know, because oh, what, what the language that they use is the language you're thinking. Exactly. You know, see, exactly. so it is and very difficult. And if you in that language, you will operate according to the according rules of According to the logic of the, of, of the exactly. language, yes. And if that language is designed, if that language is designed by our people to oppress you, then what that simply means you're oppressing is that you will be oppressing yourself. Yeah, you oppress yourself. You yes. will be oppressing yourself every time you speak it. And you can avoid that. But, 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 um, the good thing again, I think, is that the art has a way of, of taking the oppression back to the oppression and, and, and redirecting all of that thing to make sure that we can rise out of it. Because I feel so when a man, when a Jamaican dance, a, a, a West African dance, I feel that it liberates you because yeah. you are not using you're not using the ver the, the, the verbal language. You're using a physical, physical language, language that is even more powerful. Then a you sign ma- a sign, you know. Sign. Sign language more powerful than speaking, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, so yeah. Your, your, oh, your, your mouth yeah. never make me talk, you know, your mouth make feet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I develop, we develop in a talking, but when man so find out him have more than that. We think we start, 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 we Yeah, we never assign language, we never use all the while, man. I eat, I eat your mouth come for eat, you know. A man start to develop this, go, 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 and then start to farm language, and then confuse one another. But, you know, what, what, what I say about the understanding of the logics is that, mm-hmm. You know them say if you know say it's an illusion, you have to use the illusion. But first, uh, if you use the illusion, you have to use, you have to know say it's an illusion. Because yeah, you don't know yeah. say it's an illusion, you know, you're going to be mm-hmm. in the illusion and get crazy, get weird. But exactly, you have to know. It as it is real. Yeah. Why, why are you saying that? It's about the, the, the idea of the logics, the European mm-hmm. logics, as defined mm-hmm. in the language. That we who know that these logics in this language. Is mm-hmm. where we use to define ourselves. We know that, so we be able to come out of it, even though we're right. using the same lan- language. Yeah. When a man are using language and don't know, say, the language are defining him log- logics, him mm-hmm. can't come out of it. You know Absolutely. See? You so, know, as, as you're talking, you know, what I'm hearing is I'm seeing the, 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 the metaphor for the movie, The Matrix where people are locked into this matrix. It's a, and it's black, so it's a black person right at, right at, you know. You didn't know yeah, it's a know, black woman. Right? Know, and then, yeah, I know, yeah. and then them take it and, and yeah. I mean, at, at here, I win the court case. Yes, yes, yeah. she win it too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she win the, the case. So, so, so she was tapping into something which reflects and represents what it is that we are going through. You know, we're locked yeah. into this, this matrix that seemed real, but it's not really... No. It's not the reality. We are we are somewhere else living through this 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 matrix that we have been trapped in. Yes, yes. You know, I have to take the red pill or the blue pill. I have to choose the right one to come out. Oh, so which door you want? Must walk through, and which door you must walk through. Exactly. All right. Exactly. So, wait, tell me what time this 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 trial start, Regin? It's gonna be eight o'clock. In the um, morning. Eight o'clock. The Sunday morning. Okay. And um, so, yeah, yeah, so that that's when we're going to start the trial, and hopefully it will be finished by about ten, ten, fifteen. So, so which part do you have um, here in Riman? Don't have him at Riman Center. Oh, oh. <laughs> they won't have him in the past. <laughs> you gonna fight for the the building burn down tomorrow? No man, we can't tell you what we man because mm. you, know, you know it's 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 not politically correct. To yeah, do so that so thing, you gonna have security and all them things in the in the place, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. find it strange that given who uh, 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 this is a kind of cross cross the board but given who Paul Bogle was I find it strange mm-hmm. that him should have put up a statue of Paul Bogle in a tear up mm-hmm. clothes with a thing in him and a no shirt on and him something like right, uh, right. who do that oh, no, no, no we should not do that no 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 um what's your name again no 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 oh uh, who made that statue there and I turn on, you I don't think that one was God's the man. My brain can't function. My brain can't function. But I don't remember, I don't remember who did that one. But truthfully, he was a deacon. Yeah. He was a, he was a, he was a landed owner. man. He owned land. He yeah. owned about 500 acres then did Yeah. Yeah. So he, he's a man of property. And, and in fact, um, George William Gordon apparently was one of the persons who helped. No, so I'm friend. No, I'm friend, man. I'm friend. Yeah, man. I'm good friend, man. Yeah. Good, good friend. 
So, I, I know, I know, Edna Man did the statue. I know Edna Man did the statue. I was, I was wondering if it's her, but I'm not sure. I know, uh, Edna, honestly, I'm not, not sure. Remember. Somebody will call me and remind me, though. What, what may I say is that... But a part of it is how we see, is how we see um, black people in those times, you know, and that one of the things that I push in everything that I do and every production that I do is that we need to start relanguaging the thing and we yes, start calling yes, people yes. people. They, they were not slaves and even they were enslaved Africans and even some of that. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say enslaved Africans. They were people. See, we'll come back to the language again. We'll come back to all the language again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. That's, why, that's why I'm totally against that two statue in front of Emancipation Park. Okay. It gives the impression that they're next for it. They, they, I, I um, we did a run up on them. Uh, no, yeah. so we did a run up and down naked and we didn't have no erection and all that. Mm. So we had a look at them and all that. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we all look forward to it in our bridging. Yeah, man. And the whole of St. Thomas, I look forward to it. Because, you know, yeah. so, boy, I tell you, the, 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 the amount of people, the amount of car in front and behind, I tell you, it's about two miles of car, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, plus people where they don't walk and the rain now make everybody run for change about... <laughs> it was something else, man. I, I, I don't yeah, know if anything like that ever happened in Amorant Bay. Right, before, right. Apart from the rebellion. You know, but <laughs> exactly. we, we give thanks. All right, Michael, we give thanks. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, we yeah, give man. thanks. Uh, and we look forward to this day, uh, the 25th, October. Yeah. It start at 8 o'clock. IRFM right, will be there. Yeah. Running African will be there. And we will be doing the trial live. Yeah. And it will also be on, what them call them thing again, um, internet. internet. It will be, right. be, be, be live stream, and we hope so. Now, I recommend you get this little sister with there with me, named Tony. Yara camera, put it in her hand. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's a good director, too. Can't really. Well, you must have that set up already, though. You must yeah, man. Yeah, man. figure yeah, that man. out already. All right? Yeah, we have Lana God with me, and she, she's on the case of everything. All right. Give thanks. Give yeah. thanks, Richard. Ah, respect. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, man. This is the cutting edge on RFM. Okay, so at twelve o'clock, you know, twelve o'clock. Brothers and sisters, so there's a time in a Jamaica still is too, when everything black did bad. Yeah, man, everything black did bad. Still is black cat pass them say a bad luck. Can you imagine that a black cat? I just them put black cat, you know, black cat pass or cross them say I walk the other way. Because, you know, um, like what I said, don't walk on another ladder. They don't no walk on another ladder because it's good to drop long for you. Know. They don't no walk on another ladder because bad luck. And luck here yeah, and bad. From a luck, a luck, it's for bad. But they say, black market. Like money you now, when you sell money for the black market. You know what I mean? <laughs> black sheep of the family. You know, the worst person of the family is the black sheep of the family. Black debt, like we're going in Europe. Your head picky picky like black pepper green. Your black and ugly like what? Your black like tar. Black heart man. I tell you, man, that terrible thing. You see, me, if me was. Sure. But the opposite is white. And check what is bad that is white. What is bad that is white? It's a terrible thing. But how we grow up, how we grow up in a society, how we grow up in an environment, how we grow up, what we were taught and what we learned still reside in our subliminal mind. And there are times when it come out by a sudden that we who even say we can't trust about certain things. I feel jewel to self and say, oh, you could have got to do that, oh, you could have said that, oh, you could have think that. Because that same thing the way I run from catch you. And you, could, you can't believe say, it catch you. But we want to play this song here. Yeah. Muto. Yes, sir. Muto? Yes, sir. Um, Muhammad Ali. Did yes. not go to prison. Oh, I'm never go to prison. Was, no, he was sentenced to, to five years in prison. But okay. he appealed okay. right there in, in 
And and um and then the, the Supreme Court overturned the appeal. Okay, thank you for the correction. Yes. So the, the, the point to... I was trying to make though is was that this man said now nah, go kill people who never trouble him. So he refused uh -huh. to go. Oh, I, I, yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I mean, I give thanks to the thing that him never go, him never really go to prison, but. No, he was just sentenced. Yeah, he was he sentenced to five he years. He's not going to Vietnam because, because he's Vietnam, he didn't do anything. Yeah, that is really the point I was trying to make. But he yeah, so he refused statement. from going to harm, yes. yes that yes. was the reason why he was sentenced. Yes, yes. But if the appeal took a while, you know, so a lot of people didn't follow up. Yeah, so they think he was so, in prison? Yeah, they think he went, but he didn't. All right, thank you for, very much, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, man. Okay. Tell me I can't move on to that, but I'm really wrong. Negativity, I push down, you're really strong. It's like black woman in love. And it's a huge Jamaican. Paul Bogle, cut off the Costa's head. Tell me, I say, where you get that from? He say, ooh, I study my history, and I study Jamaican history. And you guys down there, in those times, you you use it to your machete. And he started giving me all kind of history. Mm. My, my country, I mean, about here. So, you know, if he's a ball, you know, if he's a ball, we'll kill nobody. Yes, but what may I say, they never highlight that in our history. They don't give so, so, no farmer knowledge according to They never give no farmer as a ball, but we'll kill somebody. Where, where, where they never give? Yes, you might not tell me he's a white man, you know, I tell you, um, so, we 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 but when I ask you a question, we are the whole lot of things happening now. You didn't hear about ball, but we're not school. Yes, man. Yes, All right. So, so, so what you think? So, so, million, but so what? Talk more way do. He might have to do something for the Then if he did lead a rebellion, then if he did lead a rebellion, what you think he did do? Where he might lead a rebellion? He could have just go in front of them and say, boy, so I'm not going to do that. So what you think he did do? I don't know how to Well, by leading a rebellion, you know, you have to be a, a, a master. You have to have a master plan. Yeah. And plus, you, you have to have some farmer, um, where I say, bodyguard or some farmer, inchman. Ask uh, somebody to defend you. Defend you? you no, no, control. defend you. I know you. All right. A rebellion uh, is that him instigate uh, a rebellion against the system. Yeah. And the man right. him take up arms uh -huh. against the system. So people really? dead. Just like really? when they kill about a thousand black people, the black people uh -huh. them didn't kill a whole heap of the soldier them too. Yes, but they don't highlight it. They don't tell you, say, boy. Yeah, but you don't have to highlight the Paul Bogle cut mm. off a man around it so and chop off a man's finger around it. So, Paul Bogle <laughs> lead a rebellion, and obviously, <laughs> leading a rebellion means uh, you go down there with your machete and you're going to shoot some white people. Yes. That's why I'm saying skin for skin. I'm going to get that in my history. So, you don't believe him? So, you never believe him? You don't believe him then? Say, Paul Bogle kill some people. I'm going to believe him because I'm saying going at the archive. No, but you don't have to go. Bridging, bridging. Listen to me, I said, no man. Use your common sense, man. If a man a lead a rebellion, a whole heap of people dead. Yes. Then the man who a lead the rebellion and team follower, they must kill some people over the other side, man. Have to, have to. There's a piece of truth, say, two them never tell you, say, Precisely where Paul Bogle do, he never did kill some people. Paul Bogle kill some people, man. Have to, have to. Just like Nanny, just, just like Sam Sharp. Just like Taki. Just like Taki. Yeah, so the way he must say now, uh -huh. it wouldn't it strike me for years say Paul Bogle chop off a guy's head. Hey, in that time. In that, in, mm. Well, Paul Bogle, in this time, yeah. <laughs> when I say, it wouldn't strike me. <laughs> it wouldn't strike me as weird. Mm -hmm. Because I hear mm -hmm. to them fine with all three fingers to one, uh, some finger and them, the, the, the maroon, them vex with that. Vex with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Just like what them, yeah, you got three finger jack? Yes, man. Three finger jack. No, no, I can't like be man. I mean, I can't like be in a car. Three finger jack. It's terrible, you know? Terrible. Yes, man. I what? Terrible, man. I in a car and I don't issue any of them pirates of the Caribbean, man. No, 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 no,
Well, we never uh, specifically uh, get no idea. But no, but uh, no, uh, wait, no man, you tell me mm. where them tell you in a year is where you say them tell you in a history. Where you did get from it, say, pa, say um, three finger jack wall. What kind of man three finger jack was? It, it was ravaging, man. All these are sick to get gold and, you know. It but uh, I said, no, me no fit at the part there. Well, it's to me, man. No, sir. No, sir. Me neither go at the part there because yeah. me know different about three finger jack. Just uh -huh. like Paul Bogle. Is a man who sleep with all the mosquitoes inside, you know, one eye yeah, open and one shape. They were wrong with that. 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 It was a different way he loot them when he get. What do you mean loot? It's loot. He is a loot man and rob all them things, man. And do what we did? Well, you know, the thing is that his story is a shitty pun in. But to me get in my history. You were robbing on? You were robbing on? Yeah, man, you have to return you to the poor. Oh, you know what's that at him, though? Well, the issue where you get? At that end, tell you, so okay. you have to go buy that fee. You have, go, you, you have mm. to go buy it? That's why you have to go buy where them tell you not slavery, too. Yes, because so we know why I like the things that we know. Then you have to say, where you say eat people in Africa, too? Yes, man, they tell you all kind of things. And we have to go buy that, and we have to go with it, don't it? Well, after that time, when you realize why it's not good, so... All right, tell me one thing, tell me one thing where you learn in your history book. Where yeah. white people do, we're wicked. Uh, when they uh, commit genocide against black people, man. Like what? Like what? Like when? Like what? Like, like what? 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 Uh, uh, you that uh, we, uh, we, uh, we that, you know. Put, put the them in a furnace and burn yeah. the whole of them, about six million of them. Yes, yes, yes. Me you about hear about it, though? You hear about that? Yes, eh? yes me hear about that. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, in a few history, it's like they try to hide the things they were keep the, you know, when I say, you know, it's like, it's a, it's a farmer. Um, then they clear certain things against me to keep you in the subject side of all time. So when, so when the white man, when, when the white man tell you, say, Paul Bogle chop off a man head, what do you think about Paul Bogle when he tell you that? Well, at the same time, it, it sounds amusing to me because to, to, uh, in a few history, they don't, they don't want to highlight So you feel that lie, the white man I tell? No, I don't lie him I tell because he convinced me after that time he can he give me oh. all of the other history. Okay, them, so he convinced you, sir. He mm -hmm. convinced you, sir. He convinced you, sir. Paul Bogle create an atrocity against film people then by chopping off one of them head. Head? He could start. Yeah, so when I say no, but when I say no, he might tell you that to make you look on Paul Bogle as an evil man. Yes, and that you want to push your baby as an evil man. He's a barbarous man, that Paul Bogle. You Jamaicans, you Jamaicans, I say, man, I express myself to the man. Yeah. I mean, I look at and say, boy, them things, you know, he's a farmer for me. He's a farmer for me. He's a hiding things in for me. Nobody man, hide nothing from you, man. Seek and he shall find, man. Anyway, we have to move, though. Yeah, man. We step move, though. I say you go, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, Paul Bogle. <laughs> and I'm afraid of them kind of people, there, you know? I say, when we highlight them, man, you know, you know, it's like we have stirred up certain things and certain people don't like it, you know? If we start telling about when nanny do now, we want to talk about all nanny. Hey. We want to talk about all tacky. Taki, the biggest slave rebellion in a Jamaica. The brother they were named Taki. Serious brother that. They have an ex man named Bookman. Bookman left Jamaica and got Haiti. You want to talk about the thousand in a Haiti do. When the black people them take all of Haiti and control Haiti, the first black republic. Free slave place. All of the people, them, even in Jamaica. Jamaica used to take boat, go to Haiti. Because they want a free place. Just like all the slave them, the African them used to move from the south, go to the north. When during the time of the slave, slavery. And they have a woman named Harriet Tubman. Who run a thing named the underground railway. She get people, Africans. For move not. Move not. Go not. Go not. Go not. And the problem with it is that even Ariatoman say, she say, 
I have freed many as slaves. But I could have freed many more if only they knew they were slaves. I want to hear me say, Harriet Tubman say, this woman them called Black Moses, female Moses, to say, I have freed many slaves. I could have freed many more if only they knew they were slaves. That does sound familiar. That sound very familiar in at this time here. Yeah. At 20 years, I never had really attacked to the slave them. I try to educate them. I could have educated many more if only they knew they were brainwashed. <laughs> I have unwashed and I have hung out to dry many a brains of black people. But I could have unwashed and hung out to dry many more if only they know they were brainwashed. And my brain is dirty, so it's not wash. So, the thing is this now, that a whole of people are not so no feel them as slaves because they must see no chain. They must see no chain around them foot, no chain around them neck. So who the hell is moot or else that them as slaves? Well, I want to tell you something. Our ancestors see the chain around them foot and around them hand and them take chisel and lick it off and run away. We no see no chisel. We no see no, no chain around our neck. So we think that we're not no chain. So we're more enslaved than our ancestors in this time here because we turn bossy slave. Bossy slave. We are bossy slave. Walking around in them suit and tie. In the hot weather. 96 degrees in the shade. Real hot. The amount of clothes they make we have on in the sun. Most of them Most of them sit down in a parliament. Most of them sit down in a parliament. Most of them Black skin, white mask. Yes. Water. Cutting edge. Yes, Water. sir. Yes, yes. May I hear you? Yeah, good night. I'm minister. Minister who? Farrakhan? No, Minister Angel. Okay, Angel. What are you doing? Good, sir. All right, sir. Where are you now? Yes, I have a song about farming in the car. Jamaica is a land of farming, right? Tell me, man, where are you asking me right or wrong for? Tell me where you tell me, man. Okay. Well, I write a song about Jamaica and, and the youth them to do the farming and such what? Okay. Because, yeah, because in this time it's very important. Because it's not all the way, it's not all the way we're going to get things from the wholesale or the shop. So what you plant is what you really get. All right, sir. So, so that's the I message. Like, you I, like what? Where the song there? Yeah. We have the song right now. No, no, you have it on CD? Yeah, we have it on CD. Where send it coming on the radio station? Okay, we can give you a little piece. Give me a little piece. Then if you give me a little piece of the CD, now nah, go broke. <laughs> no, no, give me the whole light, man. Send the CD, come look at man. All Send right, the CD, come look at All right? Yeah, me like you talk, me like you talk about the black history, you know? Yes. Yeah, man, the black history is very important, man. All right, sir, give thanks. Man, I you know, you know them telephones at that time, you know? Yeah. All right, bless you. Yeah? Love, Anna. Music with instruments, not computer. Jackie me too. Dark a shade of black. Well, next week, Monday. Yes, right down our street there. Five are young. One thousand kangle for Paul Bogle. Come and at the church, relax. Come here. Yes, one thousand kangle for Paul Bogle. West Street, five are young. Because at the kangle lighter. <laughs> We are every can come at it with a rusty machine. <laughs> they say they watch it, they watch up somebody. They should have a chat with somebody, you know. Let's put it against them, so the flat part. <laughs> the bunch of people is the queen of Africa. All you have to do, just raise the sideline for somebody. Don't even touch them, just raise it for them, so. Trust me, man, you're supposed to drop down dead. <laughs> <laughs>
really enlighten and wake up certain people to a certain reality and certain history. And it's very important. Very important. I hear the virgin call and I say, oh, some white, a white man, I tell him, oh, Paul, but we chop off people later and all that, really. Sound horrible, don't it? Sound horrible. We, we who understand and know that liberation struggle is not a party. And when people is enslaved and want freedom by any means necessary, about by any which way freedom. I hear the broadcasting commission said, no way, we're not playing that part of the radio. <laughs> Hi, sir. Yeah, most of our work are this. Yeah, blessed man. Yeah, first me I call upon your, your program. Me I call upon St. Thomas. Which one is St. Thomas then? St. Thomas, where you just come from? Or St. Thomas, Virgin Island? Yeah, man. St. Thomas, where you just come from? Okay. In Jamaica, yeah. Yeah, blessed man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me I tell you, say, me rate your body now, man. Because me I tell you, say, you're one of my eyes and me there in my book yard right now. Me just take out the directory and find the number and I call you. Mm. From St. Thomas. That's something I want to say to you about. Where do you know what I have to assure? But American, where they usually do the slave people in first time. Mm. One show named, um, um, the movie named 12 Years of Slave. You ever oh, see that movie? Yeah, yeah, what do you mean, man? The big Oscar movie. The, girl, the, girl, the sister where we live. The sister where Akin they get an Oscar. The girl where, 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 where the man yeah, beat yeah, man, yeah, man, she get the Oscar for that. Yeah, it's the, the actor. Boy, I'm going to tell you, boy, I'm going to tell you, yeah. that, but the way they're there, I'm going to watch a movie. Is that true story, you know? I mean, me know, me know that. Oh, yeah. It's important them from there when I buy, I'm going to be where they are, I know a true story, before them, yeah. um, about black. Mm. And I tell you, that movie, they make me weak. Make weak, you... the whole day, I'm going to be there, I'm weak, all boys, and I'm in me, I'm going to tell you. It's yeah. a tell a partner with the girl. Yeah, man. You okay. see? The girl that begged the virgin to carry her down at the swamp, you see, to kill her, mm. you see, in there. I want part in the, in the movie there too where the white man tell him, say, anyone disappear, they mask, or they must be beat with many stripes. Yeah, and my friend, my friend, my friend, my like friend, can't read. He didn't know, so the brain is like, go, go, like him can't read. Type it. Yeah, you see. If so, them know, so you can't read, friend, you know, you're going to get hung. Yeah, if you can't read. But one part in the movie where really, it now when the youth them they capture the youth them to go sell them off and when I see them slave master then come see him. And the other guy call out to the other one, boy, the other black man oh, look. He just hug up his slave master and gone with him and see me guy a capture then capture, capture him, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see can be owned by a master. Yeah, yeah. You you feel good, yeah man. Why yeah, yeah. me feel good for talk to you know, but just well, you, know, you, 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 you have a next one named Sanko for where you for watch, yeah? Ah, me have another one, correct? Me have another, me have another one, but that one there about Nigeria. No, but me I tell you what, no, me, but me I tell you about one, you know, I see him sleeping. But you don't know if you get that one, you know, because I be able, me don't know if you get that one. It's named Sankofa, it's named Sankofa, S-A-N-K-O-F-A. But the regular showman out of the road, I mean, I see them with it. Me don't know, but try find it though, you forgot to watch it, yeah? But, but, yeah, but anyway, yeah. still me there sent a message, and I sure you said, me the plan to come at the march, you know, me bend bad or me couldn't reach. Mm. I don't well, find well, if, 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 the word if, if you bend bad, you can't reach. That means your back's supposed to hurt you. No, man, I couldn't. Then I vex, I am going to reach. Because I should have done that. Because all the while I come and mark them, I'll just go around with the tree, go yeah. there, you know. All right, the 25th the of the 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 October, we're going to there again. Yeah, me are listening. Because I hear them say the 25th. Right. Yeah. The, the, the 25th. Because I'm first of all, they're going to that man for hang, you know. No, I'm not going to hang him later. They're going to try him later. I'm not hang him later. They're not hang him later. No, no. Anyway, give time. Right. Hey, Bridget. Yeah, yeah. I want to call you tomorrow again. Yeah. yeah. All right. From the Bahamas. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, one time, I don't want to do a show. Me, I tell you, say, some man come on from stage. It's not easy. You know, say, remind me of at least Scratch Perry. The Virginia from Bahamas. Remind me of least Scratch Perry. Yes, here we go. If you have a whole day, you know, take a whole year if you come out of here. I tell you. <laughs> Yes, Muta. Uh, Greetings. Yes, uh, give thanks, man. How you doing, man? Yeah, all right. I just want to salute um, those Africans that today, the 15th, Thursday, the 15th, is the start of 70 years ago when the 5th Pan- Pan-African Congress in Manchester, England, started. It was from the 15th to the 21st in Manchester. Mm. And people like... Um, my mother's cousin, Amy Ashwood Garvey, the first wife of Garvey, 
who was one of the key organizers. Um, of course, Joe McKenyatta was the Ashwood Gavi, the first wife of Gavi, who was one of the key organizers. Um, of course, Joe McKenyatta was there. Kwame Nkrumah was there. Dudley Thompson was also involved. And 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 your boy, enemy of Marcus Gavi, <laughs> who later repented, <laughs> and and others. But the fifth Pan African Congress that took place started 70 years ago in Manchester, and it was from the 15th to the 21st. So we remember because it led towards the formal decolonization, you know. But of course, the fight still goes on as Kwame Nkrumah had to deal with. And we as Africans, with neocolonialism, you know. And also salute Paul Bogle and those Africans in St. Thomas, 150th anniversary, which was on Sunday the 11th. And I heard that there was a lot of rain that caused a lot of problems. Like, like where you hear? Tell where you hear the problem. What kind of problem? Yeah, what, what I heard is that despite the fact that Paul Bogle is one of Jamaica's national heroes, the man who said, remember your color and cleave to the black, that there was no governmental support in terms of... No, 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 you're talking about the rain. Why you say the rain cause a lot of problems? I don't mean ask about the rain. No, 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 that because of the heavy heavy rain yeah. and there wasn't any shelter mm. to think that, you know, that there was a... That, that, that's what I have been hearing. So is that true? No, but you still not tell me what the problem it caused. No, yeah, the, the problem that is caused is that people got drenched and yeah. you had people who, who left as a result because the rain was very hard and that type yeah. of thing, you know, okay. and, the, and that there was a lack of um, toilet facilities mm. also, you know, you know, okay, okay. but I, I would have thought that there would have been some kind of what you call official support in terms of helping with tidy facilities, etc. So maybe you can you, you, you can um, let me know more where that is concerned. If you were there or you would have information if you were not there. Well, I did that. Eh? I, was, yes. I was one of those who was broadcasting it live. Uh -huh. No, I don't know. The organizer them about the toilet thing. I never did why I use a toilet. I don't know. But if toilet should be there, toilet should be there. But I don't know if the rain did stop the crowd. Because when I reached there, the rain did not tear down the place. And I see the place cock up like a wall. And the rain stopped. Right. And I, when I look, I, I see people like worried. So I don't know if the rain did stop nothing. In terms of the toilet, no, I don't know nothing about the toilet. So I don't know if. You know, I don't know. I don't know if the, if the organizer of them to provide or never, but it, 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 it No, no, it. no. In terms of the rain, not, not, I'm not saying that the rain, I heard that the rain stopped anything. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that the people remained, but what happened is that if, if, if there had been some shelter to help, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what, what kind of shelter? That is what help? I was told. What is a shelter to help for your dad? Well, come around and No, man, man, you know, like you, 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 you would have some kind of. If you have some face of rainfall, if you have some face of rainfall, which one is a shelter for rain? <laughs> yeah, no, no, anyway. Where, where yeah, 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 but yes, I, I, I see what you're saying. Even though it's, it's not, uh, it, it was not some face size crowd, though, was it? I'm asking. Where's a some fit size crowd? A thousands of people me see them is about two miles with a car a bus a drive. Alright, so, so, so maybe me, that is even me, more than some fit. Well, 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 that well, is well, good. Me did the pan top of one yes. truck, a broadcast, and when me look in front of me and behind me, me couldn't see the front car and me couldn't see the back car. Massive crowd. Even well, I'm glad to know, well, I'm glad to know that our people as African people turned out and when me the flat, when me the the flat, people line the road. When me the right. flat, me see people line the road, a ball out, this and a ball out. That's how when we reach down there. The length of time we take for reach, which part the actual event I keep. That time mm. we're not here. We, we couldn't, we, we, we forget police, we, we direct inside, eh? To move the car. Police, I 
For move the car, then for move the car, then because we, you see, the truck where we depend. If you're there, yeah. turn distance from the truck, it now go broadcast because it have an antenna on the truck. But when you mm. talk with the cardless mic, them from certain distance, it not really. So which part of the tent that we will have, have a broadcast from when we come out of the truck? The truck is mm. at a certain point that we could attack and hear it, but make it go through the, the transmitter. So when we reached up there, there was so much car that is the police, them have to go now come and move the car them. That we could have moved the truck for going there. That we could have moved the, the, the broadcast. And, and to clear the way. Yeah. And to clear the way. Yeah. That, that yeah. we have continued the broadcast. So it, it. Well, I, I, well, I am really heartened to know because this sounds then like thousands of people were right there. And I'm glad to. Thousands. And I'm glad to know. We're bridging thousands of people. What do you mean if thousands of people were there? Like, like, no, a, no, I said I'm glad to know. No, I said I'm glad to know that thousands yeah, man, of people were there. Yeah, turn out from 6 o'clock in the morning. Yes. And like the night yes. before, when them have the table, yes. the, 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 the table and the, the, the coming out. Thing. They're coming out, yeah. And next thousands of people there from the night before. So the people mm. they there stay at the place up at Stony Gut. And then when them get up in the morning now was the right time now to start the march. Woman with them match it and man with them match it come out ready to start for rain at the whole Paul Bogle. Rain at the whole from Paul Bogle. Stony Gut to, to yes. there. So yes. yes. Yes, that was good. And 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 I must um, remember what Marcus Garvey Jr. in 1992 as President General of the UNI and ACL when at the, um, the International Convention of the Organization um, it was decided that every 12th of October, which was Monday gone, to be commemorated as African Holocaust Day in remembrance of when yeah. the Christopher Columbus invaded mm. Guenani that he renamed San Salvador, mm. which heralded the enslavement of our people from Africa, from Mother Africa coming across to the Caribbean yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and beyond. Hold so, on, Mandingo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, cutting edge, RFM, attack to Mandingo from England. Yes, sir. Sorry about them, Holy Bible, you spent there. <laughs> yes, overstand. Yes, but um, a next thing too, in terms of spreading plants in Jamaica, because for quite some time now, records not being pressed in Jamaica, and what has been happening is that reggae records and rock steady and so, being pressed either in Japan and in Europe, etc., and the prices are very expensive, and what it has meant is that people who used to earn a living by working at pressing plants in Jamaica over many, many years without employment, and imagine in Jamaica, it's the people abroad who are making money by the pressing of vinyl, and you know, really, really wish that the pressing plants in Jamaica should be reopened so that we can earn money and our people can earn money from our cultural products, musically speaking. Yeah, but you are not bridging. For open a present plan that Jamaica don't make no financial sense because you're not going to get no way people that buy record from foreign for open a record plant on you. You know, you'd have to have, have a big amount of people that buy record from open a record plant and record not sell you now. I just, I just think novelty, a novelty record is no, you know, so if you really have a record plant that employ people, if you print 300, 500 records a month, that don't make no sense. Yeah, well, that would be with some records, you know, but you know what I mean, you have records that would sell more than that, and what is happening is that people in Japan mm -hmm. and in France and places like that, yeah. they are making money pressing Jamaican music. Yeah, because you see, them can't afford to do that. We can't afford to go open a plant to, go, to, to bring four Japanese come to come buy some record. Because you remember I said, Technique did a print record still, you know. And Studio One did a print huh? record. Technique. The British were them dead, we killed the other day, man. Um, what's name? But they don't want Technique. Win, 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 Winston, Winston, Winston Riley. Riley. Winston Riley, yeah. Them did a print record the other day, you know. 
And, and Studio One did a press record still. And Tough Gang did a no, press record. No, no, no. Studio One has been pressing records for years, you know. For years. I haven't been pressing rec rec records for years. But one of the last to do is, is Dynamics and, um, and Tough Gang. No, wait, let me tell you, sir. Take, all right. You see the record, them where. I mean, I said, two the one, you to pray actually, first, but you didn't have record that come out with old music. Mm. New record that come out with old music. Mm. And that technique you used to sell it. I know the old record them used to sell it now. And new record them press with the old music them. Mm. I mean, so when you go in, you go buy a, 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 a Slim Smith record. A record you get, you know, but it's not like... It's a stretch of old record them sell you. It's a brand new record. No, I know it's repress, repress. Yeah, Just so like how I yeah, repressing, yes. Yeah, well mm. no, that matter about no. So me I say, in a Jamaica now, the market is not viable enough for a company you now go open a record plant or something, go press record. Because you know, yeah, if you go find out now all of the different companies them, if you go press record, which record now sell mm. Like all the, the market has thing. gone down because of the change in technology and people access music on internet, YouTube, etc. Uh, for that instance, type no, of we have to know. Yeah. Me come here so I use CD. When me did a bring, when me did a play CD, yes, everybody a play record. You know. When me a play computer, yes. everybody a play CD. No, nobody not play. Ah, nobody a play CD again, you know. Because mm. you, know, you just put the CD, download the CD. When me I get music now, I, 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 I use get the computer. Yes, yes. I, I, I get it. I email, email a man send a record in an email, a CD in an email, and I, me, me no me no go at sound system again with a bag of a CD. Me just go with my computer and a little thing that always look like a cigarette box. With all two two hundred thousand records CD, and I, uh, yeah, that's, that's, yes, that is that is that is common worldwide because yeah. as a as a DJ myself, I know that you know yeah, because remember, you know that bully is. Pa back. Remember we used to bully for beer box to go and dance. True, when true. When the sound man appear beer box, and my favorite little man I select the tune, them man I gain the tune, them. Mm. You no know, man just press two fingers the tune where you want play just come up. But you still have people yes, who use yes. vinyl. Vinyl is a is a novelty thing, you know. Vinyl now is like mm, mm, mm. it's a selling. A specialist, a specialist thing, a specialist thing. And it's a selling, you know. It's a selling off, you know. Yes, it's a selling it off. Does. But in terms of a a a a a, a company in a Jamaica, mm. I don't think a company. For it to be economically viable, yeah, the, the viability of it. Yeah, because I didn't see they sell much. Less. No, because you get overtaken CD, CD overtake the vinyl, and now computer overtake the CD. Jump drive, <laughs> jump drive overtake the <laughs> yes, CD. Yes. Over the jump drive. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, for real. But, you but know. go back to for, for, that. For, you didn't say about the politician, the man. Thing. You didn't have politician in the match, still, you know. Okay. Yeah, man, you're not a politician. L like, you, you can name some prominent ones? No, no, no you're not going to know them. You're prominent at Jamaica, but you're not going to know them still. Because they're not really prominent at foreign. But a politician, mm. them, you know, from party, from, you know, we are running an election, and them, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, so. Well, well he did show that to man. He must say, well, why he never did into reparation. And he must say, why well, I know him recognize reparation. I mean, I tell him, say, he must admit, say, a, a cutting edge and running Africa make him love a rep and talk about reparation. No, but him know what I say. But me know, say, I we them I listen to and I go like them not listen. Well, well, you know, pretty, pretty, pretend not to hear, but hearing nonetheless, Everyone you know. Every one of them, man. Every one of them, man. Every one of them. Yes, de de definitely, you know, silent, li silent listeners. But, you know, the fight for reparations, you know, it, it, it just goes to show the cause and the justice. And as we say, that 25 million that Cameron offer, that must be used as part reparation to buy medical equipment, dialysis, X-ray machines, that's and that type of thing. No, no, and that's no that's prison. Well, on it, well, on it, well, on it. It's a reparation mm. money. Mm. Reparation must come with an apology. If, if he might give you money and don't apologize, it's not reparation money. So if him come no, 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 that uh, that is automatically no. involved, you know. Yeah, that the apology, say, that the policy must come with it, which he refusing to do. No, but yeah, said so they must use the twenty five million as part of the reparation money. That's not reparation money. 
No, no, Muta. What yeah. I am saying, I have already said in the past right. that the apology must be there. Yeah. So, you, you know, that, 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 that goes without saying. Yeah. It can't be just give money and that because you must state the reason why the money is being given. Him give that the money is not a favor. It's him, not a favor. Him give the money to help the economy of Britain that the, the, the prisoners them is costing Britain too much money so they want to choose some pan weed that we will be here. Exactly. So that our people bear the cost of accommodating people who, who have afraid. been doing who, time here. Who exactly. It yeah. is, is, is low change, which is what I have been telling yeah. people on my radio shows them and that type of thing. And this is why we're not allowing him to get away with, with that. You know, mm. and we're not allowing any politician or anyone else mm. to allow him to get away with that because we know we have the enemies who who support him and you know they're, they're writing the writing the certain certain papers and that type of thing. You know, yeah. N knocking against we who are fighting for only reparations. Only for Jamaican, say foolishness. Only for Jamaican, say we must move on. Mm. Yeah, but you see. It's because their minds have not moved on because of mental slavery. Mm. You see, and, and this is why it is important for us to keep on constantly to educate the people because the ones who are saying that we should move on is precisely because they're not even aware of the situation that we are in and why we are in the situation because of the same mental slavery that holds them, that have them telling us foolishly to move on. Yeah. You cannot move on and you don't have knowledge of yourself and to know why you are in the situation that you are in. So they are the ones who really need to move on mentally. Yeah. Because they're still shackled mentally, yeah. as you and I know. Yeah. And this is why you have such a hard time, people like us have a, such a hard time with people like that. You know, so we just have to keep on doing what we have to do. There is no other way. It's yeah. constant education. Constantly. Some of them will not be saved, but some of them will will see the light. You know, the African light. We have to keep doing it, Bridget. Anyway, we have to move that We have to keep doing it. <laughs> yes, every yeah, time. Yeah, so, Marcus Garvey lives yeah, every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Greetings, blessed. Blessed I. Mm. You know, earlier, when you sing. And the program we we, we listen about the drums. Yeah. Yes. Or them the drums. drums. Yeah man, the drums in our sto in our story and short our struggle. And you know, it reminds me to echo say we say before, you know, and we hear people say it too. It's a long time the sound didn't come up. The absence of the drums, especially the hand drums, in in the in reggae music, in reggae music, you know, the absence of the hand drum. Mm. Yeah. Like them body totally reggae now. Yeah, tell me I. Mm. And you so weird. You know, you're hearing few reggae music, and you're hearing the hand drum, the mm. thing you're hearing the tete. Yeah. Yeah, the feet get inside the air. Very, very real. Mm. And one day you, you, you see me over a bridge in there. Um, Herman. Herman. If you man have no food, it's come like him to eat food. Eh? Me tell you, tell you have have no food, food, Herman, up, up of the museum, mm. being part of the, of the, of the you know, mm. being part of the tour when, when one's and one's out there. And we give thanks for that. Yeah. And... You know, we need more of that. The drum, the drum just accenting reggae music, accenting reggae music table. Mm. You know, I'm talking about reggae music. There's something that I want to say, and I'm going to say it quickly. Uh, we had some incidents down the island, and especially a uh, uh, plantation island there named Sink It, mm. with some artists and, and their and they, and they contingents, you know. Mm. We had an incident there with, um, I think it was with uh, Bunk Killer, when? When that happened? Sometimes there, man. Sometimes there, I think he went to for, for um, the music fest. When? You know, when? You when? Which the last year, year, year before I'm when? The, the garden? Which year? Which year that happened? 
Yeah. The things that happen this year, man. Okay. It's the recent things I'm talking about. Mm. Current affair. Mm. Going to kill him. He's continuing. And my brother went in with him and there was an incident with a phone. And he got caught up. And then after that, I think ladies, um, uh, Maka Diamond. Mm. Maka Diamond and she could went in and certain things take place again. Like and what, what, want, what, eh? what are the certain things that are about? Um, I think something went missing a laptop or something like that. The first time was a phone, and the second time was a laptop, uh, some mm. kind of mm. communicative um, instrument, you know? Mm. But we want to say still, you know, people from, uh, and then there was a hullabaloo about it. People is people. You know, the artist then is, is human beings and people with them, and people who move with them. Well, like that, how are we I could I could cause a current that, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, it's not a phone to call, man. It's a current business. Where do you have to call forward? Believe you me, you have to call forward. Yeah, you morning, you know, sir. Morning, sir. How are you? I am okay, man. Okay, um, I wanted to talk to you, uh, ask you a question. Something that pertaining to what you're talking about tonight. It's about um the the Christ and um the Christ. The, the Egyptian Christ. The Egyptian and also Buddha, Wait, hold Buddha on, and hold on, hold on, hold on. When we mention all these things tonight. No, you didn't mention them tonight. It's a question I, I wanted to ask you since okay, long okay, time ago. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so um these are mythical characters, right? Um but they're mythical characters. I wanted to know if, if the one in Egypt is a mythical character too. Which and one in Egypt is that about? Isis or um Horus. Yes. Okay, you say he is. Yes. So the t the traditional culture in Egypt would be like Ma'at and Ma'at and the goddesses and the gods there, right? Ma'at is principles. It's principles. Yes. Isis is not a principle, no, too. I, and Isis is the mother. Is the mother of Horus. Oh. We're representing our Christianity as the Virgin Mary. We're representing it as the black mother and our child. So all of them would have fallen in a traditional culture, too, because... All of them would like have in, fallen in our... In Voodoo, you would have, like... The, you, the have reach, also. you have your reachers in the voodoo, but when I say the the Isis, Osiris, and Horus is the is the the mother of all of these things. Where you have all the mother of all, not not the Osh Orishas, the the Christianity where you bring now the Virgin Mary. That that Virgin Mary story come out of that Isis story. That that oh, Horus okay. story, the Son of God, come out of. Come out of that oral story. Right. So, what I'm asking is the traditional culture of Egypt. If the what? Um, the traditional culture. The traditional of Egypt. culture. Yeah. Like, like in 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 the in the in Nigeria, you have all of the Maori and the Orisha. Yeah, that's how you know your one. The, the, the yeah, Voodoo, your yeah. tradition. Yeah. And um, in in Egypt, you would have the Neta and Neturu. That is in Egypt, Kemet, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, but this one is a religious story where we're talking about Isis and Horus and Osiris. Well, it has become an irreligious story through Christianity. Oh, okay. You see, okay. all right, you see, for yeah. instance, Jew, all right. Ju, ju, the, the, the idea of Jewishism are Judaism, it was not religion as such, you know. It's a cultural way of life for the people them that develop through time as a religious belief. When you start to identify a deity in that belief, it becomes what they call a religious idea. You see, but most religion come out of culture. You see, it's culture give way to religion, you know. Depending on the environment where you're in, a, how people view and see things in a them environment, them develop a kind of 
a divinity around what the things them that them don't really understand, that them can't explain in them environment. So them give it over to a deity. And also sometimes deities is created for mask different ideas, spiritual ideas. Principles. In, in a, in a like principles. Yeah, yeah. So 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 all religion come from culture. And depending on where you live and who bring you up, you create that religion based upon the cultural expression that you find yourself in. A, you understand? So, so it's not like say, if you're born in a certain place in a Tibet, maybe you wouldn't be a Christian. If the person who in a Tibet is born in a England, then maybe they wouldn't be a Buddhist. You know, so the ideas come from tradition, but people move from one space to the next. They start take that religion and put in a, a next environment. And sometimes the religion from one environment coming to the next I have environment dominate, depending on who control the environment. It dominate that environment. So does you have Christianity what? dominating African people? Because the people them who carry that Christianity in the society was it dominant? Was it was the power? The power? The power structure? Yeah. Another, another thing I wanted to ask you if, uh, um, is that are the ancestors um, myths? Like you have, um, like in the Oisha or in, in, in the Loas, the Loas, mm. uh, what, like, what they did, I read that. I saw a video once on YouTube called uh, Mountain the Gods, and it, it, it talked about Mau yeah. and Lipa living on yeah. Earth one time. Yes. And they said that Shongo and, and the, the Shango, deities were, uh, were kings, you know, qu kings and queens. Well, well I want to tell you, let so, go Ghana, let me tell you, say the golden stool came down out of heaven. Just like what I'm telling you about the, the, uh, the Ark and the Covenant, the, 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 the Ark and the Covenant, where the Jews them relate to, is a story yeah. similar to the Golden Stool that the, 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 the Asante Kingdom relate to. You know about the Asante Stool, right? No, no. Well, yeah, well, Asante, in a, in a Ghana, the Asante people talk about the Golden Stool that came out of heaven. You see, which, I don't really believe that, but it's a story with them. You have some people take it literal, as a literal movement of a stool made out of pure gold. That now the chief sit down pan and become the chief of all chiefs. Him sit down pan that stool, representing the guardian of the the nation. I would have what I want to call the tribe. Oh, the god of the nation. The guardian. The guardian. He's oh, because the, he's the, the, one the Ark of the Covenant would have been God, right? And well, so the Ark the of the would Covenant represents the presence of God. That is when Moses sent the Israelite them. Because him couldn't control them. So him have to give it over to something that the people them will fear, the unknown. Because more time, fear come out of not knowing, you know. So if, yeah. if, if Moses come together with him tribesmen them, in a tabernacle, where them can't enter. And when them do, when them, when them lock up himself in that tabernacle there, he make laws and structures laws. But him have to have something greater than himself. That like when the people them hear of this thing, yeah, they will fear the thing because they not fear him. Because when they go up to the mountain and them say, nah, come back. Him brother take something that they make the thing and make a, a calf and worship it. So what Moses do now is come back down now and say, all right, we are going to do now. We are going to build, him gather all the theme tribesmen them, build this thing named the Ark of the Covenant, and him say, this is where God dress. This is the presence of God. Anywhere with this there, and it will help to make we into a, a nation, the Israelites. This is where we keep the nation together, this Ark of the Covenant. So anytime they move, they move with the Ark of the Covenant. You see, so you always have to have something, a great a politician, which, which, which Moses was, input something that the people in mind to control them. 
Because him himself realized that him personally can't control the people him. And him couldn't go give them fear again. Because fear used to control them. But fear did have different gods where fear worship. Isis and all, Ulrus and all these different gods. Mad. But it have a concept. It's a concept. It's a, it's a, like the Ma'at. The father two confessions where the Ten Commandments come from. Moses living in Israel, in Egypt for 40 years, did have an Egyptian thinking, did have an Egyptian um, education. So, where him give to the Egypt, where him give to the Israelites in the, the desert was where him take out of Egypt as an educated Egyptian, which him never knows him was not Egyptian, according to the Bible. So, these are all these religious perspective develop. It develop out of culture. You see, the culture is the highest discipline, you know. Even though we don't look on it that way there because we see say culture to we is more like dancing and singing. But all of the discipline them where you have sociology, politics, economics, religion, all of them, anthropology, all of them have its genesis in culture. If you understand all of these disciplines, you have to understand culture. Culture is like the top of the pyramid. Anyway, him look like him things, him things get lick out. <laughs> him things get lick out. I know him did not listen still. I know him did not listen, but we didn't have to explain that, you know, because when people look for religion, man, like you know, man, it's like, Jesus is the only way. The only reason why he must say that is because of where him there. The only reason why I'm saying that is because of where I'm there. And even if I'm never there, you have to have a power, a political power that is greater in a film environment that demand that him say that. So that is how, that is how Christianity become a dominant religion. Because everywhere the person in power go, him carry that religion and him extend it in other culture there. In, with, with sometimes, with, with, well, not sometimes, but most of the times, is with force. In, 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 in coming at the, 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 most religion, most religion is extended in other people's culture through force. Religion like Islam, Islam going to Africa as force. Christianity, force. We accept Christianity, not because it's our intention to accept Christianity, but the, the, the power structure that design this environment come with Christianity. So when we take on Christianity to ourselves now, we actually feel says we are taking it on I don't know say it's a culture of the environment that shape our thinking towards that Christian belief. So no man have no definitive argument to tell you say we are right now. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only way because him in our culture we say that. And if he never did the culture and he believed that, it's because it, the dominant culture will overpower the culture where he now allow him to say that and force him to say that. Click it. Or Island Jamaica is a beautiful. Well, I know we just talk about, you know, prevailing powers, um, dominating people in a society and cause the people them to fit into that religion. Where, where you don't have, we do have a, we have a religion that is dominant and people come outside of the dominance of that religion to adopt somebody else's idea of what is supposed to be religion. Most of that time, most of that is caused by religion to adopt somebody else's idea of what is supposed to be religion. Most of that time, most of that is caused by the, the nuisance where the religion in the environment where the person who adopt a next religion recognize. So most people who, for instance, if you're in this society you now and you see somebody say them not or no Christian, so them, them, them go and search for Buddhism or them search for Hinduism. It's because of what them find in a the dominant religion, in a them environment. So them refuse to, to reject it. It becomes like a nuisance to them. It's almost like something where you really want to reject. So, so, so even though a lot of people accept another religion outside of them immediate environment without force. There's something psychologically a go on in a the, in a the, the, the environment that they're living in about a religion what is dominant. 
and most of the time, them find it to be obnoxious or, or, or what we call it, a nuisance. It, it, it's like, we don't really want to say that because that don't really, you know, it come like, you know, craziness. So them go outside and find an next religion and then implant it in a them, them consciousness, maintaining the environment, still living in the environment with them there, but adapting a next religion. But as I said before now, most of the times, the thing that we accept in the environment where we live in now, as, as, as real, as, as we see in a Jamaica, most people accept Christianity in a Jamaica because the dominant, the dominant and prevailing culture in a Jamaica is one of the slave master. And the slave master culture is where define your religious perspective. Until you start to try to break out of that. So when you try to break out of that, it's either you start to, to what we call now, um, find some other culture where religion exists and bring it into your environment. Or uh, you then now start to twist the dominant religion to suit yourself. And in, when, you, when you start to twist that, that religion to suit yourself, where you find out you start to develop another kind of religion. It's almost like a domino effect. So when, 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 when you reject the religion in your environment, if you don't go outside of the environment to bring another religion in the environment, you start to use the religion that is the main religion and then piss it to suit yourself and start to create your own way and understanding of what this dominant religion should be in order to effectively make it work for you. And that is really something where we should have really check out. We should have really look into it. I mean, we know we are looking into politics and everything, but the politics of religion is very significant to how we view ourselves as a people. Religion of a politics, that's why I, I scared when I hear man I talk about theocracy, you know. When I hear what well, my bridge, you know, I say theocracy reign, and I, I say, I don't know if them understand what theocracy mean in its essence. Because there's no, there's no God, there's no divine entity that is God, that is going to sit down and rule a country and decide what you is. So what they might deal with now is that there's going to be some men who represent God. Just like how Moses and the Levites represent God. Just like how in a Iran, the, 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 the divine nature that man see come from man. Man's divine nature developed through him connection with nature itself. And if him don't have a connection with nature, him can represent a truly say him have a divine quality. Divine quality is the connection we have between human beings and all human beings relate to nature and surroundings. So the environment play a key part in how him, him perception and perspective is when it comes on to who am I? What am I here for? What should I do? So, we just have to say that because it's now the time for, and we say my, my virgin still still longer, so even them still I look on the phone, which is that you usually do still, but <laughs> we, we kind of allow that now. We see that's why I'm staying. Sometimes you can't change where you can't change. You, you see, so you just love where you can't change and nobody get no idea over it. <laughs> and I said, ah, you know, so when peer time come, you just tell him, say, well, him did gone three days. <laughs> when we count the hours there for the whole week or the whole month, it come out to about three days. So <laughs> just deduct him peer. <laughs> we give thanks to the moment, give thanks to the time and the energy. We know so we got the power there so a little more. From 2 to 5.45, with the stepping razor, the art of war. And we want to remind you again, I want to keep reminding you, that we're going to go back to 
but I had two doses in a one month. <laughs> two doses in a one month. We're going to go back to St. Thomas for the trial of Governor Ear. The, still the Paul Bogus saga continue. We, we, we say again, give thanks. We give thanks, say, Monique, and we give thanks, say, Brian, for there with me. Yes, I'll tell them, say, give me, put the two of them plate together and give me half of them, what the two of them get, and me one with slung inside there. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to do. We are going to talk to the boss upstairs. Say, look here, it's one of the people that think we still have to Tell me, I'm coming here. Give me half of whatever I take, and me all right. You understand? I think I'd. It rain. What if I rain out there? So when the boss say, oh, I'm not coming. I'm wet up. <laughs> you know, the first time you used to start with him when I'm riding bike. I'm not, I'm not riding bike again. No, no, no. I used to start with him when I'm coming out when I'm riding bike. You know that's all. The man coming out, the man has dripping on me. I say, oh, gosh, look at the rain. Look to my bridge, you know you. Yeah. Rain a tear out there. Oh, gosh, so man. I'm riding bike and I like, go somewhere and go play and still wet and Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine me in a fall out there. I'm still going to talk to Mike. I'm here, Mike, and I'm afraid of you. Michelle, Michelle, I talk to you. Big, big, big. Who is a radar fan? I'm still here. I talk to Mike. How are you dealing? I'm Michelle, Michelle, I talk to Michelle, I talk to you, Mike. You know, every year they have the annual Peter Tass Symposium, and this will take place right up there at the multifunctional room near the main library, University of West Indies. On the 20th of October, I think the 19th of Peter Tash's birthday, you know. On the 20th of October, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the speakers will be Copeland, Fabs, Tommy Cohen, Ross, IAV. Why remember that? I want you to remember that. This is the 20th of October, the multifunctional room near the main library, University of the West Indies, Mona. That's the Peter Tash Symposium. <laughs> 